Doki, we are live. Are we live? We're live. The derpy in the background. All right, let's dim the light to make it moody in here. Ow! Some a bitch. Yeah, I just elbowed that. Solid. As in, that was actually like a solid piece of. Uh, it was a solid piece of, of metal that I just hit. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Okay. Turn up! These guys. And... Still. Let's go! I don't, really, I don't really associate that with the colonialism, but they were this far up. There's Windhoek, uh, Kleinbergveld, Kapsfum. Okay, uh, can we agree that Kleinbergville sounds like some made-up name? Like, <laughs> Franz, <laughs> this is a Kleinbergville. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck are we talking He's, about? like, looking around, like, the, the room, just, like, picking random names. Uh, I went down a rabbit hole of just looking at maps, and I managed to find myself in Namibia and looking at Dutch place names. Okay, here we go. I found an image of the it longest... It makes sense, I promise. The longest straight line on land is that. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, Burkina Faso to... I guess Chinese <laughs> coast. Okay, okay this apparently... reminds me of a weird rabbit hole I fell down uh, <laughs> earlier, either earlier this year, it was like mid last year, early this year of, um, I think I shared it. It was the like uh, urban, uh, like illegal travel or like illegal, illegal freedom was the name of like the channel or sort of is. Oh, the dude's riding the train. Yeah, the guy who that's just oh, like, I want, yes. I yeah, where he's like, I want to go from, you know, fucking northern Croatia to the coast, and so I'm just going to ride trains and just do it because I want to. I, that's, that's how I like traveling. So I also felt it, like, randomly related, was just like this dude who just likes to do, I'm going to walk the in the straightest line across certain distances. <laughs> that's what we're talking huh. about. Yeah, yeah and this is, is this is the longest one there. Yeah, so he, it was a guy who was just like, yeah, we found the shortest short, shortest straight line across Scotland or like Eng somewhere in England, I think. And uh, it's just really funny because they just have a satellite phone with them or like a satellite, um, you know, triangulator, whatever you want to call it. Um, satellite map. That's probably what it is. And uh, their whole thing is they can't stray more than like 10 feet off of that line in either direction no matter what so there's just some like hilarious things where it's just like oh the line happens to literally go across a like 20 meter diameter pond so they had to like sat stash a surfboard there to get their asses across <laughs> it that's like kind of it. awesome that's and committing to the bit meanwhile like um, resident they, they um, could totally just walk around that bitch like not a problem but then they would fail their mission and so therefore they didn't want to that's yeah, nice. President Roosevelt uh, played a game with that with with like foreign diplomats. He would just be like, "Hey, let's walk in a straight line for a mile," and then like it goes like ponds and go through like rugged ass terrain. <laughs> I like the matching with Teddy. He just walks straight through it, talking and doesn't stop talking while he's walking <laughs> on the bottom of the pond. Then walks <laughs> up the other side of the pond to continue like, <laughs> where you, you know like 
as if nothing had happened. Literally looking like the walrus from Alice in Wonderland cartoon. <laughs> <I'm just> like, <laughs> <"Yes."> <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> oh, what a day. Uh, this dog's ripping ass, as always. Okay. Uh, we are all here. Derpy's in the background. She'll be, she'll be present and accounted for. Let's get this uh, quick summary going. So last session was the Torga Tussle. Or it was supposed to be off to off to uh, the Targos, but instead ended up being Torga Tussle. So that's what happened. <laughs> um, the beginning True. part of it was big conversations happening over breakfast before the party decided to leave. Bora explains a bit more about her past and the passenger she carries and how she arrived in Icewind Dale and why she knows about the boat. Um, the party listens and uh, ends up coming together to decide to head to Targos first to find the silver bullets and then head off to the shipwreck. To find the ingredients for Thad's cure. Uh, in this time, they also you the party got a call from the bullets, um, saying that they were in Targos, still trying to find the cauldron, um, the the cauldron that they they tracked down to there. But one thing that is troubling them is that their bard Nif, the little um, the kobold bard, is M I A. They can't find him. The gnome squids come downstairs and let the party know that the psi crystal detector has been beeping. Um, they triangulate. I think Crix heads outside, does a little bit of triangulation, and determines that it is heading, that the, the signal seems to be getting stronger towards the northwest, which is in the direction of Targos. Wow. Um, here's what I didn't remember. Did, they, did the party, or did the squids give you guys the detector? Do you remember? Mm. We're holding on to it still. Okay, so yeah, if you're we holding on to it, I think that the squids are staying at the inn. They're not coming with you, is what I'm trying to determine. Okay. Oh, I, 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 really I, I think we left it with them. Well, then how are you going to no, find it? No, no, we definitely, we definitely took it, because we were oh, like, explicitly yeah, checking we left. it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So that's good. On their way out, Thad stops at the market to pick up his gloves that needed some fixing after many pummelings and beatings. At the Black Iron Blades, the two dwarves there refuse to serve Thad and cagely look across the market at an angry dwarf staring daggers at the party. Of course, conflict is inevitable, I guess, and which I learned, uh, as, the party, <laughs> as the party decides to meet Torga head on. Uh, she tells them flat out that she told the merchants in, uh, in Vryn Shander as well as merchants elsewhere to not sell to them since they quote-unquote murdered her bodyguard, Sepek. Uh, a fist fight ensues as the party kicks the shit out of the merchant and her cronies. <laughs> Torga agrees. Uh, Torga, you, you let them all live, and Torga agrees to leave and not hassle the party any further and allow them to continue purchasing from uh, merchants throughout Icewind Dale. Thad's gloves are retrieved, and the party heads to pick up their rides and wagons and head out. The stable boy, who they left in charge of their polar bears and wargs, seems to have ditched with the gold that he was paid, and, and subsequently, the polar bears and the wargs have eaten a horse or two in the stables. With uh, a little bit of trepidation and, uh, and a possible decision to go and pursue that boy, the party thinks seconds uh, of it and heads off. Up the, up the pathway, up the, up the uh, trail towards Targos, where you arrive at this interesting snow-covered little town, similar to Bryn Shander, with a wall around most of it, and as you enter the gates, you can see that all of the architecture here is reminiscent of the city of Luskin, where a good amount of you started this journey. They all have, um, they are all built with the shapes of ships. Some of them have even like uh, masts above their, above their doors with flags flying, all of them with some sort of figurehead-esque thing on the on the on the roof line on uh where the where the roof starts and uh it's basically an homage to the city of the city of sales which is the lovely Sail. sales exactly. wow hey that, 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 that was pretty good i was pretty trying to time good. that one up yeah that was some talent i enjoyed that all right cool so uh we pick up in the city of Argos, as you all arrive there, your wagons, your warg-driven, your warg-drawn wagons, and the polar bear, and the polar bear, the uh, giant war cart, definitely attracting some looks as you make your way through the street. 
So there is a there's a general layout of the city. It actually is a walled in uh, harbor as well. the The wall of the city surrounds the city itself and reaches out into the war into the harbor to kind of secure it. It is a uh, it is a well off looking city as you make your way through the streets. It's not as down and out of luck or inbred as Dugan's Hole. Uh, it's not kind of as backwoods as Goodmead. Uh, it's basically the same amount of prosperity as East Haven is, or just kind of actually pretty similar to Bryn Shander. There's a smaller version. Mm-hmm. But something that you <laughs> notice is that even though it is smaller, it definitely seems to have an air of, I don't want to call it wealth, but the the people seem to be more well off here. You look down, and as you get closer to the to the harbor, uh, once again your cart's attracting attention of those who you pass. You definitely see that the ships here are uh, look sturdier. They look like they are, though they are still frozen in and stuck in the harbor as it is basically iced over at this point. It seems that they have a a veritable fleet of fishing ships here. So, as you arrive, make your way is down Cora to this, like, little... Is drooling yet? What, what was that? Is Cora drooling yet? Cora drooling over the amount of ships here. Mm -hmm. Um, they're... I don't know. She could tell us if she's drooling or not. <laughs> really, dog? Really, dog? Oh, your dog? My, yeah... Hey, Sorry. I, just crying. I, I was trying to figure out what I did wrong there. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Um. Well, Chibi. Sorry, Chibi's. I guess what I did everything. wrong is assuming that somebody would refer to me as dog as in 2021. Dog. Also, I just love the amount of pet trouble that we just <laughs> have having as a, oh, yeah. as a group. Jesus. Chibi's. Chibi's become a bit of a pest because she just chews on everything now. We have a new like entryway table, like a nice marble top, little, I don't know, type of thing. Mm -hmm. But she's chewed massive gashes into the wooden feet of it. Of course. Just for reasons, yep. and we have no idea why. Oh yeah. Thor has chewed off a corner of our wooden blinds in the in the living room. <laughs> oh god, those things are thick. Yeah, <laughs> he just <laughs> fucking ripped off a corner of it. Um, so something that you do notice that's just a little bit more interesting detail about this harbor is that you can see where uh, these ships are almost kind of on skiffs. They're not actually frozen in but it looks like the fishermen have been dragging some of the smaller boats, maybe not the giant like multi-masted ships, but some of the smaller fishing boats. You can see that they get to the, you can see the marks and the grooves and the ice as they're dragged out of the harbor, out onto the lake and maybe to the more unfrozen climbs of this, of this lake. Hmm. This is also on one of the bigger lakes out there. Uh, it's not the, it's not the massive lake of Lake Denisher, but it is on uh, Mare, Mare Dualdon, which is actually probably a little bit more unfrozen at the moment. I'm going to move you guys over to the Icewind Dale map so you can see where it is. Mm. So, you're currently in Targos. Uh, it's, uh, you have to, yeah, the, the lake shore is quite frozen there at the, at the front of Targos, but once you get out to the open water, it looks like it's a little bit more, uh, open, open ocean or open waters there. Cool. So, as you arrive in the city of Targos, you can see that there are some city guards, some soldiers milling about. They give you all kind of a, a wary eye as your animals peruse the streets and kind of sniff the air. They definitely, the polar bears, you can tell they definitely smell the, uh, the smell of fresh knucklehead trout wafting from up, up, from, the, up from the harbor. We should probably feed them. Yeah, and as you say that, in the probably in the war or in the polar bear wagon, the psi crystal detector is beeping more intently. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they've already eaten a horse. They can they can do a fine for a bit. We should probably figure out where that beeping is leading us. Mm -hmm. We ended last session having seen. Oh, someone was like looking at us. Our friends. The, yeah. The so you bullets. see, yeah, that down by the harbor. That's exactly a good point. Um, you see, um, you see your buddies, the uh, from the silver bullets. You see uh, Mulcrem, the the dwarf fighter, making his way towards you, uh, followed by 
Mr. Mike or M I K three, the robotic looking, the robotic looking dude, uh, as well as a very, very cold looking, uh, veil, the, the sorcerer, the hairless cat, the hairless tabaxi <laughs> sorceress. That's right. Yes. Um, and they, know. Mulcrum gives you a, gives you a wave as, uh, they did, as they, they told us that they're, they're missing their bard though, right? Via, yes, they yeah. did mention in the, in the last call, in their last right. catch up call that the, that over that they can't find their bard, and that was actually this morning that they called you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Also, is the beeping getting quicker as they get closer? No, it is not. Ah, uh, interesting. You know, normally I would like hail them down but that is not my character this campaign well don't worry because mulcrum hails you uh you hear his yeah. his low dwarven voice float over the frigid air as he says ah hey we didn't expect you to come this quickly oh yeah it's pretty <laughs> luckily pretty lucky that you uh, are already arrived you must have been pretty damn close and then he looks at he looks at your uh at your at the crew that you are now piloting and he goes Oh, yeah, you seem to have uh, acquired a few more um, rides, looks like. Yep. Yeah. You always got to be accessorizing. You know how it is in these parts. Oh, it's uh, quite unusual. You got him. Um, looks like it. Oh, are those? Oh, my God, those are wargs. <laughs> Holy shit. That is very uncommon. I thought those were just big dogs, but they're wargs. I'm still sort of unclear on the differences, but this one here is Slobber. That one's Putin. He lives up to his name. Yeah, he rips. He just rips ass <laughs> on command. <laughs> I would clear out from behind him. Uh, but... You immediately see Vale, the, yeah, Tabaxi, the hairless Tabaxi. She kind of like slinks behind Mike and just kind of is eyeing the large wargs warily. Mm-hmm. Well, other than our new rise, you seem to be short one companion, as you have said. Mike steps forward. Yes, we are short one short companion. He went hey. missing overnight. We have started the search for him, but nobody seems to know where he is, or surprisingly, has seen him. Oh, we're pretty good at finding things that go missing. Probably we. Uh, I look back to the rest. We want to find this one. Yeah. Where have you uh, tried looking so far? Yeah, where's the last place you had him? <laughs> where's the last place? Where'd you last put him? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll Fang, the it. the bugbear, the kind of surly looking bugbear, steps forward and says, mm. "Pretty sure that Nif was uh, singing songs at the Luskin Arms last night." And, uh, well, that's the last that we left him. But nobody there remembers him leaving, and even don't remember seeing him there. Odd. Wait, they're all, I... They're all playing I, dumb, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to say, unless he had a really underwhelming performance, they should remember that. Did he only tell you he was going to perform, or did you see him perform? Or he just told us. Maybe he never showed up. Well, where's the last time you specifically saw him? In the same place? Or on his way there? He was, he was on his way there. He was performing at the inn. We then went to the tavern. I've Good got... Choice. Uh, does somebody specifically have the uh, the beeper thing? Or... It's on you guys. You just yeah. Okay. Whoever, then you, in you that case, it. I will pull it out. That crystal that you told us about would it happen to be that Nif was the one holding on to it? They look at each other. You. Yeah. Then Nif, I think Nif we thought it was an... shiny, and when I touched it, it made weird noises. I heard Bingo. alarms in my head. 
I think Uh, we have an easy way to find Nif then. Because this should, in theory, be able to lead us to the crystal. Why don't we just follow the beeping thing and make quick work of it then? Although, should we we park our wargs? Are they cool to come with us through town? Uh... Morcom steps forward or waves at you and I I think there's a stable by the by the inn. Um uh, maybe we can uh, accommodate them there. But uh, uh they might need their own space. It's okay, they already ate a horse earlier. Yeah, they was an underpaid stable boy they could have uh, with. Perhaps we, they should have their own space, you are correct. But they they should be full for a while, based on what I saw. To be fair, we paid the stable boy to make sure that they didn't eat a horse, but he ran off with the money. Typical stable boys. I also described the stable boy and let them know to keep an eye out for him. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get our money back. They nod. One way or another. <laughs> they, they nod to you. Well, I don't know. well but if, uh, if you don't have any bigger fish to fry, we'll keep an eye out for him uh, when we travel down the town, but... Uh, all right. Uh, what is this doohickey that you keep that keeps making them weird sounds in here that, that you got there? It's a beeper. It Those leads beeper. us to the location of a psi crystal that we need for some um, illithid buddies of ours. Oh There's yeah, a... the, the thing is supposed to be a psi crystal or something like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Veil uh, silk silk peeks out from behind Mike, and and just like, did you say? Illithid? Yes, but they were gnomes beforehand, so they're not uh, as vindictively brain eaty as the others. They got three little ones with them, too. They're kind of adorable. <laughs> this is that moment where, like, the camera pans <laughs> along the party of the silver bullets, and all of them are in different, like, kind of just like the <laughs> Mokram's jaw is, like, on the floor. Um, Fang is, like, got the, like, the nodding Jack Nicholson face on. Like, yeah. uh, you got Veil. Veil of Silk is looking puzzled and curious. And then Mike is just ex- expressionless. As you would expect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and Mike speaks up. If you believe that they are not going to be harmful and not eat any brains, then I see nothing wrong with the situation. We must find our small friend. Please help. help. <laughs> Absolutely, let's go find this little one. Mm-hmm. Can you guys hear me? Oh, yes. yep. yeah, we can hear you. There we go. Yes, can. Uh, all right, so. Ironically, uh, you... <laughs> you said yes, we can just af- after I asked that the first time. Oh. <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> oh. All right, so. As you kind of sit here n- down by the frozen water with your little uh, little psi crystal box tracking thing beeping, letting out a little like it's it's fairly frequent now. Beforehand, it was like once every two minutes or so it let out a beep. Now it's once every like thirty seconds. Hot on that trail, yo. Hmm? Well, I guess we could head over towards where he was performing and see if it gets a little faster in the beeping. Sh- Unless we have a better idea where to begin. Oh, follow the beeps, as they say. Mm-hmm. All right. In no. before it leads us to just, like, looking straight down in the middle of the lake. Yeah. That's what Cora's here for. <laughs> Lord of the lake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it just leads to a hole in the lake. Uh-oh. Yep. Um, a very cool all right. There's a hole. There's a hole. So... <laughs> Uh, heading down towards the Luskin Arms, you can see that this inn is bedecked in multiple flags from different types of sailing and fishing ships. Uh, it has, uh, it is, has basically a very nice outside to it, looking like it was just plunked, plucked out of Luskin and just thrown down here. So, uh, it is kind of campy. It looks, it's, it reflects Luskin as it was like years before it kind of went downhill and became a more seedy city of thieves and, and uh, criminals. Um, so before it was cool. 
yeah, before it was cool. It definitely has this almost ostentatious, um, almost want to say it's almost like they like just took the aft off of a big like man of war ship, and just like that's what you walk into, <laughs> for, like off the off the street. Pretty awesome. Yeah. So, uh, it's midday, and uh, the lights are on here. Smoke is coming from the ceiling, and you can hear the. The sound of soft conversation emanating from inside. As you got closer, uh, the beeping did get quicker. Hmm. I just walk inside with the, the beeper, not even worrying about the fact that people are going to be giving me weird looks. Yeah, I'd be bad off on... with the metal detector at the beach at this point. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. right behind you, just like looking over your shoulder at it, be like, mm, yeah, it's faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Uh, I will, we can just hand wave the fact that you're gonna do something with your wagon and your and your cart. Yeah, I, here's the thing: Crix doesn't care about that. He'll let everybody else figure that out. So it's we just leave parked the out we, front, idling. Yeah, we leave the emergency flashers on. Just put. I it mean, out who's there. gonna touch it? <laughs> they just double parked on the street. There's like some snarling polar bears, <laughs> drooling polar bears, and snarling wargs. Yeah, uh, I'll keep that, away. like at my work, we have a loading zone where you can pull in to load your vehicle, and people still park in the fire lane. Yeah, of course. Every fucking time. Because that's so much more easy to, to, to do, and, you know, it's probably closer to the to the entrance, so might as well do yeah. that. Yeah, you know, ignore the fact that it's like a, you know, $600 fine or whatever. Well, I don't see well, no you fire. Find <laughs> yeah, what's yeah. $600 for the convenience of parking <laughs> barely away from where you can do it for free? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ten extra steps won't pay for themselves. <laughs> so the the wagons are secured in some way, either tied or just kind of hanging out there. And you head inside of this of the uh, of the Luskin Arms. As soon as you step in the door, record scratch. Everybody kind of looks at you, kind of funny, as you're uh, walking in here with a machine that's just going beep, beep, beep. <laughs> you know, I think it's a little bit faster. Let's keep walking. Let's go try that uh, corner over there. You just hear a, a low, uh, uh, what could I do you for? I, I hold up a finger in his direction and start rotating to figure out which way it's beeping faster. I look up, up to yeah. him, though. Uh, we're looking for a little uh, kobold with a mandolin or yeah, something like that. Day. The this guy who's standing behind the bar, looking like to be, he's probably the uh, the owner, the proprietor of the place. He says, "Well, my name's Owen, Owen Tarsenal. I'm the owner of this establishment, and uh, I rightly don't know what you're talking about." Do I believe him? Insight check. <laughs> yeah, you know, kobolds. You know, like small little lizard things. Ever seen one? Uh, so you can do I an inside check. They're more Mr. like Cricks. dogs. <laughs> more like dogs. I like dogs with snarly teeth. Uh, Crix, if you want to do an inside check, go ahead. Um, Mr. Mr. Demavan, are you just doing a a mindy yeah, thing? I'll do both. Okay. Ooh, uh, Thad, yeah, would, I your, too. Yeah, would you be I charging up that. your your strange <laughs> uh, brain slug? Uh, so yeah, slug we're on questioning people. Have you see anything pulls out a log? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then antennas on slug word just stick straight up and look at us in his direction. Seen anything noteworthy? Bzz, 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 bzz. Uh, so, Crix, you immediately can sense that there is the obvious ticks of kind of like tells of a lie uh, on mm -hmm. this proprietor's face, on his kind of bald and fat bald and face. Um, the uh. Demavan, you as well, immediately can just read him like a book. And then the surface level of thoughts for both Demavan and Thad, uh, he is scared shitless of something. Without me even looking up from the beeper, I'm just going to say, we don't appreciate being lied to. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know what, you're, what, what are you talking about. I'm going to now look up from the beeper and look him straight in the eye. As Cora casts Charm Person on him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As you do. Now, the old alley you We really just kicked in the doors of this place, huh? Yeah, you definitely did. To be fair, we were inside before we started kicking. 
Uh, also, since as this is probably happening, I get that sense of fear. I want to take a moment to also scan the room to see if there's anyone, any like particularly suspicious people watching us or yeah. anything stands out uh, normal for a tavern at this time of, or in at this time of day. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, the, yeah, I'm glad you asked. That. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be good, baby. So Let's as Cora starts to, to, you know, do the the vocal and somatic components of casting a spell in the middle of this tavern or in the middle of the inn, uh, you uh, look around and you can see that sitting in some in a booth in the corner there is a armored individual who is keeping a close eye on all of you. Uh, there is also uh, two or three, let's call it three more, uh, just kind of like lightly armored folks with a spear kind of like leaned up against the wall. The rest of the people in here are kind of burly looking or hardy looking fishermen who seem to be avoiding your, uh, like avoiding looking at you all. <laughs> but the armored folk, or the armored person and the lightly armed folks are carefully watching us. Oh, yes. Do they have any sort of like insignia that we may have seen? Maybe any glowing blue eyes or anything along those lines? No, they uh the they have very prominently displayed on their uh on their chest Boy, armor uh the sigil of uh the, the crest of Targos. Oh, they're guards. Oh, oh. oh yeah, we're shit. <laughs> are, are we gonna disappoint another sheriff? Um I have a feeling we might end up killing this sheriff. Oh please, we're not murder hobos. All right, so yeah, but um, I don't think he's a good guy at this point because he's watching us, being suspicious. No, because they're hiding the fact that that Nif disappeared. All right, Maybe so he the didn't uh, the bar the proprietor uh, he fails. So nice. uh, Cora, your charm spell takes hold as you cast a spell in the middle of the in uh, in common room. You hear the table like the sound of like <laughs> as the table gets pushed back, and there is. There is suddenly that you can feel the tension in the air as uh, the four guards who are basically just like carrying their grab quickly grab their wooden spears, uh, and this more armored individual stands up, uh, his hand on his sword, and he he just says, "Why are y'all casting spells here in the middle of this peaceful inn?" Ah, oh, that not... it's your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not hear us? We're looking for a cobalt named the Nif. Are uh, you that? And that that uh, that or basically like the more senior looking of the guard. He just says, and that individual. Uh, oh, well, and why well, I'm already forgetting his name. Uh, and Owen's already told you. He hasn't seen no cobalt. Whoa. He may have said the words, but he did not mean them with conviction. Hey, have you he seen this kobold, Mr. Um, Bill? Bill? All right, Bill, have you seen Nif? There's a moment of pause. Nif who? I look. I look back. Did 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 Nif have a last name? I actually don't know. I mean, he's uh, a kobold. How many kobolds do you see come through here? You would have known him. Also, now squ uh, uh, Slugward's tentacles are now looking at him. Someone gets surface thoughts. Yeah. So the surface thoughts from him are: Why the fuck are these people casting spells in the middle of this inn? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair. fair. These people. Wow. These wow. people. No, so he's, he's uh, yeah, no, so his his surface his surface thoughts are literally like, uh, what's going on here? Why did these people just barge into the inn and start casting spells? I'm still <laughs> following the beeper, by the way. It's that, not changing at all. That, it's Thad's instinct's like it's now basically at its like quickest you've ever heard it. Thad's instinct is now, uh oh, make sure Crix doesn't burn anything. Yeah, uh, Cora, so. As as that goes off, I mean, it happens. There's now basically just like a, a tension in the air. Is there? Are you doing anything with that charm person spell? Uh, I'm letting Thad and Crix deal with the guards, and just immediately went to the dude and said, "Uh, I know there's probably more that you want to don't want to tell us, but just between us friends, you know. Uh, have you seen this cobalt?" He leans over as the like as basically the tension in the rest of the room is mounting. He leans over the bar and says, 
I didn't want to tell anybody, but yeah, there was a kobold here last night. But then he all uh, he 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 left after, well, he he played some songs, then he had some drinks, and uh, he started bragging about something. Forget what, something about getting some cauldron back. I don't know. And then, uh, he said he had to go out, he said he wanted to go outside and get some air, and, uh, he, he didn't come back. I, I still have his, his, his loot. And he reaches behind the counter and he pulls out the, the loot. Nif's, uh, Nif's mandolin. I, uh, I will take it and go, that's very helpful. Did, uh, anyone else leave around the same time, or was it just him? Uh... Yeah, uh, Nareth went outside to get some air at the same time as well. Oh, and Captain Scath. Yeah. That doesn't sound like a pirate name. These cannot be real names. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it a bit odd that everyone needed air at the same time when there's plenty of air inside here? Very suspicious. The the more burly guard at this point is is standing up. He doesn't he hasn't drawn a weapon, but he's walking towards Cora, uh, and he says, "Excuse me, excuse me. What are you doing? What did you What did you cast? What are you doing to Owen Can over you not there? see that my friend and I are having a conversation? Is everyone in this town this rude?" Uh, Owen looks over the bar and says. Bill, it's okay. She's good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and Bill looks at you, and you can obviously tell he is confused as fuck. Um, this guy is, he's not a hick, but he is not a uh, scholar by any means. He just can recognize when a spell of some sort has been cast, you know? And so he just kind of sort of falters for a moment. I, I, it's understandable you thought she was casting magic, because... Well, as you can tell, we're all very forceful in our personalities, and it kind of precedes us in ways that appear like magic. Now, with that said, which window slash door did this person, or did <laughs> like, Niff leave by? Oh, and just points out the front door. Oh, the way we came in. Okay. They used the doors here. Hmm. Yeah. Suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Not the time we were in, we always used the windows. <laughs> Please. I forgot I rebroke the windows. <laughs> Is there oh a reason you are scared not to tell me that? Uh, tell us about the missing kobold. Well, um, uh, Captain Scath came back in and, 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 and kind of just told us not to not to talk about the kobold. Sorry. Now, why are you so worried about this Captain Scath? Sounds unreasonable when you have, you know, this is your place. Why would you care about what orders some captain? Uh, Captain Scath is the, he's the sheriff. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, like oh, town dear. captain, not boat captain. Okay. Okay. I, t I think I want my yeah, I kind of log. Log. Yeah. yeah, same. Same. I make a note on my log. Sheriffs are not to be trusted. Yeah, no. If out, I uh, erase the big feathered tricorn hat. In my yeah. imagination of this point. <laughs> okay. Very well. I suppose if we are done in here, perhaps we will take this outside and try to find our friend. I uh, hear some footsteps coming down the um, coming down the stairs from from above, and you can see a uh, a swarthy, kind of swarmy looking uh, human as he's as as far as you can tell, walking down the stairs, wearing some uh, really well uh, good looking clothes, uh, but and dressed very similarly to a lot of the other kind of um, town speakers that you've seen. And he uh, he just kind of takes a moment to look around the room, uh, and he smiles and he says, "What problems do we have here? I don't recognize any of you. You must be new to town. The name is 
Nerth. Nerth Maxeldar. I am the town speaker of Targos. And how can I help you? Is there a problem? I cannot narrow my eyes. Anyone gave me a real name here. <laughs> he continues down the stairs and reaches the floor of the common room. Depends. You are a speaker? I am the town speaker of Targos. Yes. So you may have have knowledge of uh, people missing in your town, no? Oh, of course. We try to keep as uh, close of ties to any comings and goings in the town. And we pride ourselves in having a low crime rate and a great fishing fleet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Those are nice things has, to be Has anyone reported anyone missing? Uh, yes, it seems that there was a adventuring party that's been staying with us over the last day or so. I think they call themselves the Silver Bullets. Uh, look, they're outside right now. I'm, uh, that uh, strange robotic contraption machine, the the hairless cats, the dwarf, and the uh, surly bugbear. Yes, um, they've been staying with us for a day or so at this point, and uh, just earlier this morning they reported that their young bard, Hobold was it, is missing. Are you aware that your sheriff has been covering the tracks of where he went last night? Uh, Cora go... palms her face. <laughs> His <laughs> eyes go wide. Uh, yeah, I want to his thoughts. Maxeldar's, Maxeldar's eyes go wide, and he kind of puts a puts one hand to his face. Scath? Why would he be doing such a thing? That's uncommon of him. Mm -hmm. I'll have to talk to him. In the meantime, uh, is there anything else I can do to help you? I'm uh, curious what, what were the surface thoughts I was getting as he was you don't get reacting any. to none. Oh shit! I am no brain. <laughs> uh, doesn't have many expressions, but he definitely has one on his face right now. <laughs> and I, I would assume the rest of us confusion. would just, a, just immediately pick up on that, probably. Probably. <laughs> that is that. Are you trying to detect surface thoughts as well? No, actually, I would still have a train on Bill, just because I'm not thinking too clearly. Yeah, sorry, I was imagining Thad would be like poking at the thing, just like, come on, work. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> do <broken>. something. <laughs> Wake up. Oh, uh, you're yeah. just thinking thoughts. So <laughs> everybody notices, and uh, uh, Valhana just mentioned that she, being obsessed with Demavan and interested in him, would definitely be noticing that his expression has changed. What, is it, what Demavan, what would it look like? What is your expression? I imagine it's very slight, like almost unnoticeable, except for like, unless you've already seen it, it's just very flat. But it, this would be like maybe the eyes widen just a tiny little itty bit and like the mouth moves back just a smidgen. It's yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, <laughs> this cat. Sorry, <laughs> the, the loading. <laughs> Demo Van loading. Okay. But yeah, I think we. I think we would all like. I. I definitely was like, okay, Demo Van can read his surface thoughts as I drop this bomb on him, and then I looked at Demo Van and I see him. Um. Yeah. <laughs> that's that. Wild shot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so straight up, I'm just like, I like, I bet I squint even more at the guy. Yeah. Mm. So is that a yes or no that you've seen the little one? I have not seen him, no. Where can we find this captain? Um, well, he should be probably out and about patrolling the town at this point. It is about midday. Uh, you can probably find him either at the town hall, um, if he has any sort of paperwork or duties there. Um, otherwise, uh, he might be stopping by the uh, Triglio, the general store, for a snack or two. Maybe even at the at the uh, tavern, the Three Flags. Um, hmm. You let us. You, it, it's up to you. I, I don't keep tabs on him, however. Uh, okay. Well, I guess the other options I've found that committing. Light Larson, he tends to bring the sheriff over real quick. Oh, oh, please. No, no. Um, <laughs> I would prefer not to have any sort of uh, light larceny in, in our town right now. 
what about what the like heavy our heavy <laughs> 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 heavier? That I, I would not want that either. No. Fair enough. I had to ask. Well, um, I must. Uh, well, I, I must attend to some matters in the town hall, so I'll be heading in that direction. You're welcome to accompany me if you would like. Mm. What, what, I'm sorry, what did you say your name was? Nerth? Nerth? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Nerth. Nerth Maxeldar. Nerth. Uh, I'll hold out a hand to shake it. I want to see if this guy's physically real. Yep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're going uh, fat on us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he could be an illusion, like a controlled illusion. Like Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. I mean, he, he walks up, mode. reaches a hand out to you, and shakes your hand. All right, all right. It's very nice, nice to meet you. Uh, what may I call you? Uh, damn it, man. I'm just, I'm just a mercenary for this party. We, you know. mm. we barely even know him. Very nice. Who is he again? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do we not know who Demo Variant is? Am I missing something? <laughs> <laughs> So he 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 <laughs> smiles and he says, "Ah, it seems that you all have some sort of inside joke here. Oh, you look to be a well-traveled." I'm and not well joking. Party. I don't know who any of you are. <laughs> is this old oh, man? Don't okay? you have our names in your book? Uh, this is someone's grandpa who we kidnapped. Uh, uh, <laughs> looks a Sometimes bit frail he... to be an adventurer, but who am I to talk? Uh, um, he spends most of his time inside his little uh, lamp, anyways. I really wouldn't question it if I were you. It just gets worse. <laughs> this rabbit hole keeps on going. As you're all, I mean, and then ironically, it's I know all that we can do to keep your, him from wanting himself. I, I know that most, like right now, as you kind of just as you just kind of uh, small talk slash joke around, uh, I would say, um, Crix, even with your with just like your passive perception, who who has some high passive perception here? Uh, I think I'm like 15, 17, 12. I actually have double digits. 11. <laughs> that's your that's <laughs> roll. Minimum. Oh, that's roll. Roll. <laughs> this cannot be. Um, roll a d6, subtract it. <laughs> all right, so I would probably say that means that Demavan and and Crix just passively you look. Uh, you can tell that he is, even though he is acting just like kind of like laughing along to this, he is. Uh, listening to everything like you can just you can see it in his eyes like he is he is uh like absorbing all of this and making mental notes of it mm -hmm. okay are they actually mental notes because you can't read his thoughts Whoa. i'm gonna try to charm person him mm -hmm. just straight up why would you mm -hmm. i don't know <laughs> i mean if it fails, I get information, and if it succeeds, I get information. I mean, I, I can't actually ask you about this, but sure. Give me a sec. I, I wouldn't know uh, that Demavan couldn't sense anything, just that he was surprised. Yeah, very true. Yeah, just the face barely changed. I like that we walk into a place and just start charming everybody. <laughs> Do you get a charm? Yeah, course, start is, this, by is this the one that's inherent? Is this the one that's inherent to you, or is this the actual spell? spell? No, this is an actual spell. Okay. Uh, so with another flourish and a and a quick vocal component, uh, you um, <laughs> yeah, you uh, you attempt to to charm this individual, and it does not affect him. And I I I'm trying to be subtle, at least. Yeah, give me a give me a deception check or a sleight of hand, whichever one you prefer. Uh, uh, mm. Ironically, sleight of hand is higher, but I'm proficient in deception. Explain that one to me. Mm. <laughs> Not very curious. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what is this? Is this, is this, <laughs> I was almost going to say, is this one of those, like, oops, and you just, like, fall into his chest? <laughs> it's, like, it's like infomercial style. Just <laughs> look up into his eyes. Just spill the bowl and sheet it was all over him. <laughs> Uh, probably like a stumble over my words kind of thing. Okay. Trying to be like, oh, well, you know, if, you know, trying to be friendly and it just uh, doesn't work. <laughs> Hope the vocal component of charm person is to shout charm person. <laughs> charm person. I declare charm. <laughs> I declare charm. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. I have a 
this is more of a D&D general question. Like, because most of the time it says that they would know, like, a, a spell was cast on them. Mm -hmm. Do... Do spells like that... Do they know what the spell was that was trying to cast on them, or no. just that A spell? No, it's just they would know A spell is cast on them. Uh, and also, even though you fumble and bumble this, Colra, you do not see a reaction from him. Hmm. Does he have <clears throat> puppet strings? And does it feel like uh, I was... Like the spell was blocked, or it just failed? Uh... It failed. Or what I what I know, okay. Well, actually, no, you wouldn't know. It's it's just okay. like it didn't happen. Oh, and then I think Thad's seeing this because this is pretty clear on the second time, especially with the the side of hand roll. Uh, kind of thinking, oh, he's gonna move uh, Slugward to look at Nerth. Uh, Slugward doesn't. Slugward. <laughs> Slugward strains. You feel it <laughs> squeeze on your head for a moment. Uh, and Ooh, it produces it produces nothing, just a blank return. An empty field is returned to you. Yeah. Oh shit! No exception. Hold on. <laughs> oh, memory pointers put in the wrong way. Oh god. Debug. 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 <laughs> okay. No. Well, if you uh, don't mind, I have some uh, business to attend to at the town hall. Uh, I must be off, but. Uh, you're welcome to find me there if you need me at any other point in time. Otherwise, I will, uh, I will be, uh, I'll be back here. Uh, this is where I tend to, uh, stay for the evenings. I don't have my, a house of my own. I have a room here at the Luskin Arms. It reminds me of home. Mm, oh, so he's a Luskin. Oh, are you from Luskin? Uh, yes, originally. I, I, I came from there. Decided to make my way up north and see what the... Uh, what kind of prosperity there was up here. One found it to be extremely cold, but it uh, turns out that I uh, was able to make my, make a name for myself here in Targos and uh, took over the job of the former town speaker, who didn't seem to even want the job in the first place. And uh, now it happens uh, a lot. I'd like to insight check to see if he killed the previous town speaker. <laughs> could, I don't think insight's yeah, yeah, going to go tell you that much. But. Well, no, you yeah. <laughs> You can go ahead. Tell me. Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead there's, some, there's some sort of. Yep. He's just telling you a story. Nothing. Okay. Like you, have, you get no reads from his face. Hmm. On any of I don't like that. Oh, I should have recognized you as a fellow man of Luskin. How thoughtless of me. <laughs> I'm just staring at him. <laughs> he, he stares back at you, and you can tell. I think this is the first moment where you see the, like, just for a, a brief second. The uh, a crack in his like smooth veneer of a face where he's just like it's like a what the fuck like I'm just like just like a zoom in on Thad's like bug eye face just like, uh. <laughs> like oh, you know God. exactly the stare too yeah there's a it's there's this slight shift it's trying to read each other <laughs> yeah. it's definitely this, but this with a slug on his head <laughs> <laughs> there's a slight shiver as he just is like um I I, I apologize. <laughs> Uh, I must excuse myself. I do have my duties to attend to. As I said, feel free to find me at the town hall if you need uh, uh, if you need me further. And he starts moving out, moves past, and you, he opens the door, closes it. You can hear like just a muffled conversation outside as he greets the silver bullets. Um, and like looking out the window, you can see that like Mike, the Mike, the 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 mechanical cleric. Just gives him like a curt like bow and gives him a greeting. Um, Malcolm says one or two things to him. Uh, Fang, the rogue, just kind of like just doesn't get, just like spits on the ground, uh, and uh, Vale hisses at him. <laughs> That's a smorgasbord of reactions there. Uh... Watching him walk away, does he look like three kobolds in a trench coat? Oh, 100%. Yes, three kobolds in a trench coat. You figured it out. Uh, he, he is, uh, I hate to go. I love to watch him walk away. Yeah, his breath fogging <laughs> in the morning air. He more in the midday air. Um, he briskly strolls off and then to the uh, northwest in the direction of the town hall. Hmm. All so right, weird. so that guy's fucking weird. 
Yeah, well, it's, it's not weird. just weird that well, Pyro could not be able to read thoughts of anyone. It's like, <laughs> it is kind of weird that they're their elected official living in a moat in an inn instead of, you know, speaker's house or something like that. That is very weird. Yeah. And uh, homesick of Luskin? What the fuck is he talking about? I, I mean, it's you, really oh, kind of cold here and such. No, that guy is wrong. That boy, right? Wait, did you, uh, <sighs> you also give him the old, uh, yeah, did you get the nothing sandwich? Yeah, yeah, there's nothing going on in that dome. <laughs> it was a little disconcerting. Uh, Cora will start looking around and then trying to rush everyone out of the inn where guards are listening. <laughs> 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 yeah, are the guards I mean, listening? The, the, so, like, when they were talking about... So, something that was interesting is that they, everybody seemed to... The, the guards and kind of, like... He's not the captain of the guards. This is this is the guy who stood up mm -hmm. and the that dude who backed away once um once Owen was just like, Oh yeah, don't worry about it. Uh he seems to be like a higher ranking, maybe just like I don't know, what whatever below a captain would be. Like a like a lieutenant. Yeah, lieutenant of some sort. He's just another like burly or higher ranking member. Uh but they've all just kind of as soon as um as uh the speaker came down and started kind of taking control of the situation. They all 100% relaxed and just went back to having their, their lunch here, basically. Okay, then an ushering of, like, get further away, at least. Because yeah. mm -hmm. we loud. Well, the other thing, too, is you look outside and you can see that, like, Mokram is, like, standing on his tippy toes looking through the window trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, we'll head back out and fill them in. On... Oh, the beeping is still happening in the building, though, right? hasn't changed out of Did curiosity I... uh the loot that we picked up is it beep really loud close to the loot nothing has changed hmm. uh Grix, you want to try going upstairs and see if anything changes i believe we will get permission for that and i kind of glance at the owen uh, who's owen? just kind of like yeah. now you know cleaning a glass or a plate behind the bar just like looks up and he goes oh uh yeah uh, uh, of course uh just, uh, uh, don't wander off too far, okay? Yep, I will head upstairs. Should we all go? <laughs> I, I was gonna say, someone should probably go. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go. go. I'll, 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 <laughs> just, he just, like, I go up alone and come back down, just like hurriedly, everybody needs to get out of the building, please. <laughs> <laughs> all you right. see smoke climbing down going. the stairway. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, uh, I mean, I was habit history and everything i'll follow you right yeah, right yeah. Go there. <clears throat> all right let's see what's up here and rustle through these bed chambers uh they're all the doors are all the doors are locked yeah but does any particular one beep more no hmm. i wonder what the resolution on its radius on this thing is it can't be too cut too close ah. too high or else it would be changing as we walk around inside of here that hurt my brain. All right, let's go outside. But it's so cold out there. Yeah, the uh, the the cold air strikes your skin as you head back outside, and Mulcrum speaks up. I, uh, were you able to get anything out of these those guys inside there? Oh, wait, that's his uh. In names that aren't real. That's his uh. That's that's Niff's instrument. Where the fuck they find that? Mm -hmm. So he was in left here. here. Apparently. Yeah, they were apparently not allowed or not supposed to tell us about Nif at the behest of the sheriff. The captain. But oh. we also got another yeah. name. Uh, DM, please help me because I am not good at those. Oh, the speaker? <laughs> no, you... Uh, Owen gave two names. One being the captain, one being... Was it the, the well, speaker? It was the speaker's name, yeah. Oh, okay. Never oh. mind. Nerfus... And Scrags, right? N nobody here has real names. I believe we are all in danger. <laughs> yeah. Wait. It was, oh, uh, what? It was, the equivalent was, uh, of the... Nareth Maxildar. Uh, Max Maxildanar is one here. I will paste it in chat so you can have the name. Well, I, I don't know too much in this world, but when both the, the top law man... And the head of government of a place are in cahoots with a secret. It's never a good sign. 
We must watch our backs. And probably our friends as well. Like the friends. Uh, Not the sides. The I like my sides. I will uh, say that the beeping is still loud and or frequent in that building. Well, it's possible uh, it the didn't... crystal was left here and Nif was not. Well, it didn't ch it change as we walked around. So either this thing does not it has a minimum distance that it operates in, or we just happen to be near it, but not within this building. They may have ambushed our poor friend and stashed him somewhere nearby. We should if probably I, make a loop around here and see and maybe yeah. 100 yards point. or something and see if we get a better signal. If we head around to the back of the building, does heading the opposite direction we came from make it continue to be faster? Uh, can I do a slight retcon while we're like up in the the upper uh, like doorways where they're yeah, all locked? I'd like to do the alternate form of detect thoughts where it's like a ping. Uh, it's um, like the bottom paragraph. Okay. Um, uh, you can also use the spell to detect the presence of thinking creatures you can't see. Ah, nice. Okay, the spell penetrates barriers. Um, can I check something <laughs> really <traits>. quick? <laughs> but not lead. Not lead. Mm. Uh, barriers. What's the minimum intelligence on it? Three. Uh, you don't detect anything upstairs. Oh gosh, there's like a dog or something in one of those rooms. <laughs> Could be. Either that or Nif is really dumb. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> or Nif is really dead. Nif is what I aspire to be when I play Gold. <clears throat> a bard. Uh, Intelligence of three. I to the the silver bullets. I think that might be a smart idea to uh, keep an eye on the speaker for the time being. There's something wrong with him. Perhaps you can try to get within his good graces. You know, try to get some information by doing a favor or two for him. And meanwhile, the rest of us can find out what's going on with the captain. We, or um, and, and, find, and find Nif. That's our, that's our first priority. Well, I believe finding out what the captain's doing will lead to at least finding something. I suppose that is our next best option if the beeper does not have the resolution required to pinpoint our friend. So, Crix, you were doing a, like a <clears throat> quick perimeter of the, the building? Yeah, I wanted to go around the back of the building see if it beeps faster there and kind of had a little bit a ways from the back of the building, pretty much. Um, It has the I would say you're able to detect that it beeps slightly less frequently as you leave the establishment. You start to move around the establishment. You don't detect any increase or decrease. And as you start to move away, you definitely detect it starting to slow down slightly. Okay, so it is in that building, like, for sure. <laughs> while my or something. I was gonna say while my charm person's still up, I want to go back in and ask Owen if there's a basement. He looks at you and he says, "He he looks at you and goes, uh, yeah, there there's a basement. Uh, uh, it's where we keep the uh the ale and the wine and the cobalt. Oh, is it any special cobalt. types of wine? Uh, it's, it just it's, it's nothing too good. We have a few bottles of. Oh, sorry, I, I get it confused." Uh, we got the we have the ale and we have some uh, some mead that we uh, well more so that uh, Speaker Maxelnar he uh, he keeps them the the mead from good mead down there kind of on reserve for private parties and and whatnot. Uh, oh, wow. Do you think I could go down and see it? Uh, uh, there's some good things about good mead mead. I don't. Uh, Maybe. I promise I won't cause any trouble. Oh, uh, shucks. You're so nice and whatnot. So, uh, just don't, um, don't tell anybody else, okay? A secret between us, I promise. And I guess I'm heading down there. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna walk into the middle of a cult. A oh, look, champ. <laughs> yeah. He uh he takes a thick set of like keys off of his uh from his his waist and he just says uh, uh here come uh, just come behind the bar the 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 door's right here. Uh, oh. 
Oh, yep. Are we around for this, or are you off on your own time? Oh, she went back outside? inside to, okay. to talk to him one more time. I, I yep. wouldn't have stopped anyone from coming in, if that's the... Well, I, I have no incentive to move from where I'm at. Okay. Uh, I'd probably follow you in, but then just, like, post up at a table or something nearby where I could keep an eye on where oh. you went. <laughs> that's the dad instinct. Yep. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm going to trust you know what you're doing, but I want to see if anyone follows you. No, just straight up, it's Cora's first date, and you're just, like, <laughs> on the other side of the restaurant, staring <laughs> down her boyfriend. <laughs> dad! Okay, so he, uh, do you, you follow him behind the bar? Uh, yeah. Okay. So he does the whole, you know, lifts the bar, um, the, kind of like the, the bar counter up, and you can see that there is a heavy oaken door, like trap door style door, right there on the floor, typical for, you know, your, your taverns, etc., or your inns or taverns to have the, the basement entrance behind there. Uh, he takes out the heavy set of iron keys, kneels down, unlocks a huge, like, heavy padlock. You definitely take note of it that this is something that is a um, surprisingly uh, new-looking lock uh, and not well-worn compared to the rest of the building. The floorboards here are pretty damn creaky, and, and um, you know, you can almost hear every footstep as you walk around the place, and you swear you can hear some rats in the walls every once in a while. But this lock is is sturdy and new. He uh, unlocks it, pulls the padlock to the side, and with a grunt, opens, pulls open the door. Immediately, you get that kind of like dank draft waft up from beneath you as he um, takes a lantern from off the bar and, and lowers it down there. You can see that it's it's pretty dark, but there is low kind of dim lamplight that seems to be coming up. Uh, after after you, my friend. I guess I'm heading down. Okay. The, the the cellar is dry, but still has that musty smell. You see down below at least three large barrels that you can assume to be uh, of some sort of um, uh, some sort of, of beer or ale. Uh, and there's uh, some racks of, of bottles, not fully like uh, filled, but you can see and recognize some of the bottles for, of good mead. Um, the, the good mead mead uh, and one or two bottles that looks like dusty bottles of wine from other locales or, or areas oh wow that's quite a, well, quite a collection uh, definitely attention like searching the room for any kind yeah, of give me your perception check okay um, so what you see around the room, uh, it is it is fairly dimly lit, but you do notice that there are two uh, from where. So are you just kind of standing at the bottom of the stairs? I uh, kind of walking around and like pretending to check out the barrels. Great. So as you kind of wander around the room, the there, there's like low oil like oil lamps down here that are turned to like their lowest setting as to not burn fuel away, and uh, you can see that there are two other doors. Um, down here. Oh, is is there more uh, ale behind those? Uh, Owen, who's kind of now halfway down the stairs, looks to you and says, "Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, that is uh, the the only the the town speaker and uh, Captain Scarf have keys to those doors. They use it for their own personal storage or some or something." I don't ask any questions. You don't say. He nods, and uh, um, well, uh, I mean, uh, if you want a, if you want a, a bottle of the, uh, of the good mead mead, I, I won't tell, I won't tell um, Max Nar, I promise. Oh, Take that's, it for your friend. that's so nice. <laughs> uh, first off, Cora is absolutely taking one, and <laughs> second. Uh, can I see, like, how secure those doors? I don't, like, want to go over and just, like, shake the lock, but, like, <laughs> see if it's, like, padlock it, like, padlocked or just, like, key closed or... Um, they have similar <laughs> heavy padlocks on each of them. Okay. Oh, man, uh, if only we had somebody who could pick locks. Can you say that I mean, the captain and the speaker have keys to these? 
He nods. Yeah, uh, they use it for some sort of, uh, as I said, some sort of like storage and whatnot. But uh, uh, yeah, I don't. I just don't ask questions. Uh, they give me some coin to to use it, uh, and uh, pretty nice. So uh, supplement some income. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to phrase this. <laughs> um, I would like to girl. break into those rooms, please. <laughs> um, Owen, we're we're friends, right? Oh, well, for now, yes. He says yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, as your friend, I don't, you know, I don't want you to get in trouble for for bringing me down here. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, how about how about you go back upstairs? I uh, I just want to keep taking a look around, and I don't want you to get in trouble for you know not manning your post. Oh um, oh, I'm sorry, I, I, it, Miss, I promise it was, it I won't. Miss Cora, right? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I I I can't I can't I can't allow I can't have you down here by yourself. What is dangerous and and do I? Uh, he starts to look nervous. Like, I'm person okay. again. I'm gonna activate my cloak. <laughs> I okay. Try as subtly as possible. <laughs> like and then I'm gonna going. use this. And I'm gonna what? say, Owen, I need you to go back upstairs. Mm hmm. And stay there until I come up. Uh, his eyes glaze over for a moment, almost matching the color of yours. And he uh, he just kind of straightens up. Of course, I will go back and polish some cups behind the bar. Thank you, Owen. Um, head to the doors. <laughs> okay. Um, is there any kind of gap or way that I could see, like, just a sliver past the door? Now, as you get closer, you notice that these doors are pretty damn, uh, like heavy compared and once again uh even just upon just a brief glance at them they look like they've been installed much more recently than the actual rest of the architecture down here they are heavy iron doors heavy iron and i'm assuming like sealed all the way around yeah not like bulkhead doors on like a ship or a submarine but they are um pretty much like you know prison doors more or less you're surprised by why, like, I would say, you, Cole, are you are immediately just like, why the fuck does anybody need doors? Like, like big time sus. Like, why the fuck are there oh, doors yeah. like this down here? Um. And there's probably no easy way to see, like, at all past it. No, unfortunately not. The dim light down uh, here, uh, even though you do have dark vision, the light is dim enough that it's very tough for you to see anything beyond these doors or even like it's it's just sealed there's no there's no keyholes or anything like that there's just a yeah that's like, kind of what i was going yeah, for the the only keyhole is in the heavy padlock that is barring that is keeping the bar on the door shut no gap underneath it <sighs> no imagine i mean nothing like literally yeah, yeah. it doesn't even i mean these are these are well-placed doors and it's one of those things where it's mm -hmm. like it's like the back of a, a shipping container door you know where it's basically the thing, yeah, destroy. You have experience with opening and closing shipping containers uh, on trucks, but it's main, main thing of just like the yeah, the bar that pulls down and then closes shut, and then there's a lock on that. Um. Okay, I will take all that. Grab a bottle of of good bean mead and come back upstairs. Okay. Uh, all right. Thank, thank you, Owen. You can you can close that now. Don't um, want you getting in trouble, of course. Give me one last perception check as you leave, Cora. Okay. The guards obviously noticed. Okay. Uh, I am going to add a thing to that. Go ahead. Uh, so it's perception. I can roll one of my 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 class die and add it. Okay. <laughs> uh, you pause for a moment, swear you can hear something, but you don't hear anything. All right, fair enough. 
Alrighty. Uh, so, Cora, you come back out of the basement. Uh, <laughs> Owen looks to you. Uh, kind of, you, you also are getting some, like, weird looks from, like, the, the, the guards and stuff, but nothing that's kind of out of the ordinary. They're just kind of eating their lunch in peace now, kind of just not wanting to deal with anything. Um, and, uh, Owen just says, oh, oh, I see you got one of those bottles. Better put that away before anybody sees you, if you know what I mean. Uh, I don't want to get in trouble, and I don't want you to get in trouble with the town speaker. To be uh, fair. Uh, I'm not there. I, I, I hide it under my jacket and, like, put a finger to my lips and then quickly motion for Demavan to, we need to leave. Yep. No <laughs> sign. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, after what seems to be maybe five, ten minutes, I would say, uh, Demavan and Cora head back outside to the party. Uh, that's probably also Crix when you finish your rounds around the, like, going around mm-hmm. the outside of the, the building and kind of doing your measurements with the, with the beeper. Mm-hmm. I believe that there is no way that the crystal is not in there. And I believe I know where it is. Well, first off, speed. Second off, there is a basement. Oh, so it makes so much sense now. All Mm, secrets uh, are in the basement. It's very heavily uh, fortified compared to... And I kind of just gesture around everything else is it more fortified than fire could get through uh, I believe fire could get through but mostly because that'll probably take the building down wait Not what if I door. what if I, I punched would... the door really hard I'm I mean I'm sure you could but then we have an issue of being heard I tried yeah, to get myself in there but I couldn't see through it I could melt my way through the lock. Is my uh, we could I'm, just go get a key. I'm I'm digging through my pockets real quick, and I pull out a set of thieves' tools. Uh, what if I try using these? What? <laughs> what? Wait, wait, Matt, am I traveling with a bad boy? Uh, sometimes you just don't know when you're gonna need what you're gonna need. So sometimes you just gotta be. <clears throat> Uh, well stocked on a variety yeah, of pulls members. out thieves tools as well <laughs> <laughs> oh you too see this is how you prepare for anything Wait a minute. all this Back. way just to associate with larcenists oh my God. <laughs> I did ask about light larceny earlier uh, well yeah, whatever we decide to do probably should be quick uh, otherwise when my spell runs out I'm not going to be very liked here all right, we should head down there right now, then. I need to find anything within the big secret chamber that you're referencing. I think it would be difficult for us to all get down there right now. Uh, well, probably not. I can have Owen make some kind of distraction, most like. Hmm. Don't you think we've put that poor man through enough? We wait till he's asleep and then break into his building. But that's that's so much more effort. I feel like we have a good chance to get down there as it is right now. We know the sleep might not be allowed to be. (laughs) Well, the other (laughs) thing is, we know that the speaker basically lives here at night. So coming here, you know, he's going to be around. Right now, we know at least the sheriff or the captain. And him are elsewhere, preoccupied. This would be our best chance to get down there without being detected. If you, especially as you say, you already have this gentleman under your thrall. Uh, that sounds so dirty. Is it just, not? Just archaic. I mean, it's you accurate, already, but it's so dirty. <laughs> you already have this man submitting to your whims. Is that better? I no, not at all. Wait, I have an. Oh, oh, nope, never mind. I had a thought. It's not a real thought. All right, let's, let's, let's go down there. Classic Thad. <laughs> uh, at this point, the uh, the the silver bullets, the remaining four of them, kind of step up and uh, mock them. Like I uh, could not help but over here, and uh, I mean we could help out here as well. I, I mean we are looking for our companion. I mean you seem to have some. Uh, a stake in this as well. It seems that you're very interested as I am overhearing of, uh, let's see, that crystal that he seems to be, that Nif seems to be quite fond of. 
And then, um, well, what can we do to help? Hmm. What? If you could get the guards out and make sure the speaker does not come back. You could you could be the ones who create a distraction. Say that you've For seen. For once, it's not uh, us. <laughs> yeah, you could you could claim to have seen one of those. Uh, what were they? The blue eyed, wh- whites were they or no? What were they called? Cold stone walk. No, they, that's blue eyed white walk. dragons. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. Uh, you just say you see one of them on the edge of town, and they're coming, and everyone needs to, I don't know, <laughs> prepare their anuses. Mm. Uh, uh, you, I, wouldn't that make everybody go to the easiest, large, defendable locations in the city, including the tavern? Well, you're trying to get the guards involved, right? Well, it would make the speaker come back if, you know, there's something super important here. Okay, what if we downsize it <clears throat> instead? That thinking for a while. You host a competition in the square here. <laughs> All right, hang on. I think we're getting very broad. What is the, <laughs> what is the current issue with our plan of just going down there? What's the We problem? need the guards to be gone. Look, I, well, I know that I often start the fight with the guards, but it's not normally intentional. Wait. All right, maybe I'm uh, stereotyping here a little bit from what I've seen, but don't guards like to gamble? What if you go in there, get some drinks going, and try to get them in a de- game of dice or something? That is uh, ex- Mike steps forward. Would this be legal gambling or illegal gambling? Because yes. illegal gambling is illegal. It oh, Mike, is... we don't know the bylaws of this town. <laughs> It's only illegal if you get caught. Ah, like, that is true, my furry friend. I, I would also argue... not know the legal uh, statutes of the town of uh, Targos. I am sorry. Uh, I spoke out of turn. Or I think if we like... get the guards involved, I'm pretty sure that makes it legal by, well, reasons. And again, if you do not get caught, it is not illegal. You know, Mike, That's I... not how legality works, but I appreciate the effort. <laughs> Mike, I'm sure that you're well-versed in various uh, theological discourse methods and reasoning uh, theorems. Would that be correct? I have been programmed as such. Maybe perhaps instead we could uh, stimulate the guards by a reasoned and lively debate on the merits of theocratic metaphysics. Maybe that may be like... Uh, you know, some would say put them to sleep, but I'm sure they would be enraptured enough while our companions went down underneath. <laughs> he uh, he looks back at not... you and he says, that sounds like a spiriting conversation. I would love to talk to them about <laughs> my religion and the God that I serve. Do you think they would I... be interested in I... that conversation? I... Is that think... God you serve Jehovah? No, Wait, it is not. I think, I think this is a perfect two-part plan. You start this conversation you point over to uh, D- oh, I can't remember the dwarf's name. Markram. Uh, Markram. 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 You start the gambling, and that will immediately get the guards over to the gambling table. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it cannot fail. Regardless, we are running out of time. Let's go. Yes, let's go inside and put this plan into fruition and be arrested by the end of the day. Sounds like a plan. Uh, yeah, and the, the four of the, the remaining silver bullets come in. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> enter. We just get that moment where there's just the brown, brown, brown as you all kind of get stuck <laughs> in the door as the entire party of however fucking many of you there are <laughs> just try to enter the inn at the same time. Oh, uh, okay, and give as a, this plan will push. maybe come into fruition, let's take a quick break and we'll come back yep. to this. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely gonna go horribly wrong. Or hey, it, it, it's yeah, a plan. Absolutely, yeah, that's perfect. All right, it everybody... is a plan. That, that's that's the best way to define this. Yes. Okay. So everybody, grab some, grab some drinks, grab some snacks, and we'll be back after these messages. Okay. Okay. <laughs> work, work. Something you doing? Go. All right, we'll be right back. Ten minute break. We're gonna grab some drinks and uh, we'll, we'll, we're gonna deal with the shenanigans. It's gonna be good. Here,
play, you play to win. Like, there's, right. There's, so that's like, why those people who try, like, one there's aspect a great... is to remove remove any competitive aspect to it, so people just play for fun, or make it so convoluted or so esoteric to try to understand that you cannot optimize. What are we debating? There's a great video on that by Game Maker's Toolkit about protecting players from themselves. Oh, mm-hmm. just the nature. We're talking about, uh, well, one thing, a bit of a hole there, but talk about how games have developed over the last 20 years or so. And, you know, going from classic WoW to you know, more recent game design. But I was just referencing that there was a quote from one of the early early dev- designers from the vanilla time period where it Literally. says you have to be careful with game design because... You will, it, depending on how you make it, your player base will optimize the fun out of it if they can. Yeah, watch the mm. first like eight seconds of this, kind of along the same lines by the Sid by Sid Meier. One of the responsibilities I think we have as designers is to protect the player from themselves. <clears throat> That's an people... interesting statement. Mm-hmm. To be fair, people ruin everything <laughs> for themselves, right? Yeah, <laughs> they definitely do. All right. Roll back, roll here. Sounds good. Yep. Yeah. So, I got it. Oh, shit, the is empty. You were supposed to do that? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. He has I been have... talking about MMOs the whole time. <laughs> I do have I have my whiskey right here on my cabinet, so I, I can do the old man thing. And... Oh, shit. Where's I don't my whiskey, whiskey thing, glass? But that's good. Oh, where's <laughs> my whiskey? I had a whiskey glass up here. Oh, he is doing the old person thing. He doesn't know where his whiskey is. Mm. Just wandering around. <laughs> oh, oh, on. Tracking your glasses head. Oh, on your head. <laughs> no, they're looped around your neck on your... <laughs> <laughs> whiskey glasses your fucking glasses, your lanyard. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. So. You back, Chuckles? You here? No. I think cat happened. What? Sorry, I, I, I literally there, yeah. can't. I'll just keep going. I'll find my glass eventually. It's not a big deal. Oh, wait, tell us <laughs> an op- opportunity. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. All right, we've got some Grizzly Hills. That sounds like good music for this. Okay, so you make your way back inside the bar. Um, Owen uh, immediately looks back up to you, Cora, and he's just like, oh, I thought you left. Um, the guards seem to be finishing up their meal, and immediately... Mike walks over to the like the more senior looking guard and just kind of just broomf, 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 mechanized marches <laughs> right up into him and he just says, "Hello, would you like to know about the good world good word of Orion, the god of law and order of the plane of Eberron?" There's a blank look on the dude's face. Good. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> and then just like, and then he immediately just starts talking to him about like the min- multiple facets of this of this god and what he stands for, etc. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, um, you guys get a little odd look from the other four uh, guards across the room. The other tap, there's you know, as I said, there's like maybe five or six other like just common like fishermen just kind of quietly eating their meals and stuff in here as well, but fairly quiet otherwise. Uh, knowing that there's other people there, I'm gonna use. Well, I'm not gonna use it, but I am gonna point out this. Mm-hmm. I Mainly mean, you you definitely exude part. a bad bitch aura. Okay, so that's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Just so they're not gonna run off and go tell the speaker or something, you know. Hmm. Yeah. What kind of look do you? I mean, it's like you basically just have the look about you. Of um, of just something is just like you're not to be messed with. So you better not squeal, bitch. Yeah. So and what I is have that a like? List and it's super easy to have your name on it. What kind of look do you give these villagers, these fishermen? Like, there's just like you know the typical like old man fisherman, like weathered face, big old bushy beard. He's kind of has his his cold weather coat kind of pulled open so he can drink some hot soup, and he just kind of like looks up looks up at you over the bowl of soup that he's sipping on. Uh, it's like a side eye and an expression like, uh, you better be sure that you're going to win. Uh, yeah, he immediately just looks back down at his soup like it's the most interesting thing he has ever seen. <laughs> Starts reading his fortune in his soup bowl. <laughs> oh, man. Alphabet soup? I could go for some of that. Mm-hmm. It says, ooh. It says, ooh. <laughs> Those are spaghetti, you idiots. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... 
Um, so yeah, um, the rest of the party of uh, the Silver Bullets walk in as well. Um, Mulcrum immediately like puts a hand to his face in, in just his aspiration as he sees Mike already doing his um, his robot sermon over with the other guy. Um, he's doing a pretty good job of it though. The the guard kind of is like trying to uh, keeps trying to like get up and and go or get up and move, but Mike keeps like blocking him <laughs> and like just like moving from side to side. I mean like, but wait. I haven't told you about the best part yet. Oh no. <laughs> you get to be eternally celibate. <laughs> um, Mulcrum comes up to the, your group and he says, um, it, it kind of sounds like you have some sort of a plan, and uh, uh, if you want us to do uh, distractions and stuff up here, uh, Fang, Vale, and I can uh, continue to entertain the crowd as it would be. And then um, uh, maybe if Mike doesn't shut up, the other guard will be good. Either that or he'll bore him to death and get him to leave. Or to die. Sounds like a win-win. Well, do we want the guards to leave if they've, like, if they've seen us here, do we want them having a chance to get word out? I don't think that's... Uh, it probably doesn't matter. Yeah. By the time anyone was told, we'll be done here. Probably, maybe. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah, if not, They'll there's other out. problems. Okay. Run I walk up. I walk up to Owen. I'm just like Koro was telling us how wonderful of a basement you have. We would like to see it too. He looks at you. Um, you're uh, you're not. No. Um, I don't know you. <laughs> oh, I'm, uh, I'm Crix. I'm also Cora's friend. That's Cora. nice. But I'm friends I, with Cora. I'm not friends with you. Crix <laughs> just. Right, just okay. Uh, <laughs> Owen, uh, Crix looks hurt. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna like try to weasel out. I'm just gonna give another command. <laughs> okay. I need you to uh, open, um, open the path to the basement, and then just tune out anything that you hear coming from the basement until we come back. Okay. <clears throat> um, vale also um, walks up next to you and and also and chimes in as well. Yeah, we're looking for our friend, so it'd be in your best uh, in your best interest to help out Cora here and just turn a blind eye. We promise that nothing bad's gonna happen, so uh, don't worry about it. Under my breath, loud enough for like Cora and Vale to her to hear, but not for Owen to hear. I'm just gonna say I wouldn't promise such things. Um. Um. So yeah, Owen looks back to Cora, looks to Vale. Uh, Cora, give me a either persuasion, yeah, a persuasion check at advantage. Uh, okay. Four K. At advantage. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh! <laughs> there you go. I, I I will note it is a is a command. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Okay. Um, no. Uh, more so because it was a one word command. That yeah. it was a little bit more than one words in that expression. So it's basically gotcha. just accounting for the fact of like open the thing, it's like open it, and then yeah. So uh, Owen looks to you and just says, "All, all, all right. Uh, it's starting to feel a little bit funny. Did you, did you do something to me? Uh, uh, oh, well, Loki, I didn't unlock it yet, though. So you could just, just go. Oh. And he kind of like starts staggering backwards a little bit. I always like to think that like when a charm person spell would wear off, like they feel like the worst hangover ever. Mm -hmm. Yes." I look to the group. All right, we don't have much time. Let's go. Down into the hole. Away we go. Um, Fang and Mokram look to look over and say, uh, Fang's like, we'll watch up here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, I'm looking to get some action if anything happens. Uh, and you watch as he, I think you noticed before, he doesn't carry any daggers on him. Um, and he just kind of, he just suddenly just makes two purple daggers appear in his hands. Nice. Mm. Z -z -z Neat trick, buddy. Thanks. 
Uh, Vale sidles up to you, Hyroken. Gives you a, a light kind of like brush with her tail against your tail. It's just like, you better bring back Nif. Look, we wouldn't go if uh, we didn't think we could do it. Good. <clears throat> Show me you can. And then her tail, her tail slaps your butt. Boop. Grushy <laughs> thirsty. Oh, I oh. and poofs. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, isn't she furless? Yep. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Definitely poofing. <laughs> All right, Mokram and um, Mokram and Fang uh, sidle up to the to where the other soldiers are, and you start to hear like the overhear the conversation. Mokram trying to be charismatic about like starting some sort of like card game or something like that, you know, saying that they got the coin to to you know to stake it, so why not try it out? And the soldiers like look at each other and they're just like, "Drug, all right, cool, card game." And they just kind of are they're kind of into it. They were not paying attention really at all. They just seemed to be hired, you know, hired townsfolk type of people just kind of on duty but not really paying attention all right so the party uh the door is thrown open and you descend down into the into the depths of the of the basement here uh, and as you do uh i will move you down into said basement so you can uh, see what is down there uh, 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 uh. The fact you, that means we did the right thing <laughs> the fact that you just switched to a german accent as we're going into the basement makes me slightly worried <laughs> it makes me think we're going to see three kobolds in a trench coat. Oh, Hans. Welcome to the basement. Yeah. There is nothing bad down here. Nothing at all. <laughs> now, please take off all your clothes. Put on this leather mask. <laughs> Have you picked this day forward? <laughs> all right. Meanwhile, your beats are blasting through the door. <laughs> that, that, like, muffled Welcome to Dust on the Club. It's the hottest <laughs> place in <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> oh wow! In Das Basement Club. <laughs> All right, you find yourself in the basement. Uh oh, I think I see something with my extendo sight. Do you? Uh huh. Because I have. Oh, you do. <laughs> I have infinite dark sight with my. Cleric. All right, let me do something really quick. There should be a oh, yeah, there. Right. You Hold. see through the veil. Okay. Of Hold up! Don't see through the veil. There you go. Is better. Okay. I saw nothing. Good. I see nothing. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I see well, that's where I one of the doors heard. was. That's where one of the doors I was supposed to be. Not expect to oh, okay. hear a, Hogan, a Hogan's hero reference tonight. Okay, so you find <laughs> yourselves uh, down here in this basement, and you, uh, Cora, immediately moves over to where she saw the two doors—one to the south there, and then one to the north there. Oh, I'm going to step on top of this barrel. Okay, give me Apparently. a give me an acrobatics <laughs> check. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to, but we're going to roll with it. Um. Oh. oh shit! Dang All right, bro. cool. Ooh. Definitely it's barrel run. <laughs> huh? I bet you could fit like four kobolds into this barrel. I'll, I'll knock on it. Uh, Nif, you in there? <laughs> it's just a it's a hollow boom, or a pretty like full sound like boom, 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 boom. Well, if he's inside that barrel, he's probably drowned drowned in a happy accident. Well, let's hope he's not in these. Uh, if only everyone was so lucky. There's one way to do that right now. If that's what you were. Now, <laughs> Fab, do you know how to use joke. those tools of yours? Yeah, I I do have some training. I might be a little rusty on it, but um, yeah, let's see. I'll come over here. Okay, which? Oh, these are both locked, right? Y hmm? Yes, both are locked. All right, which which way we want to go? That and then up here is a door. Oh, there's one up there. Yeah, so probably just go to the one we're at right now. Uh, uh, Cora Valhana would probably also, also make a point. I was going to say, hmm? Cora would probably make a point to let Val, uh, Val try one of the doors. Yeah, Valhana is... Pro Are you proficient in Thieves' Tools, then? Uh, let me double-check that. I am indeed proficient in it, yes. Okay. Because of my criminal background. Oh, sick. <laughs> <laughs> what is this party? Because, <laughs> I mean, that's part of our story that actually goes back to luskin how we even got roped in this in the first place mm -hmm. all right cool so you uh the party now sees the doors that Cora saw earlier two heavy iron doors uh with a heavy bar across them and a padlock securing the bar so um that yeah you look in, you look in front of you the door looks sturdy the padlock looks sturdy but you can see the the keyhole seems pickable oh, yeah. 
Okay, okay. I'll, start. I'll save these cleanup gloves, give them a little more finger dexterity. Okay, okay. Right. Ease, ease your tool in. Oh, just, uh, just mm, mm, mm. Yeah, nice and soft. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just turn it this way. You don't want to damage the, the lock. I mean, yeah. Well, um, so Valhana will come up and, and just kind of like look over your shoulder and, and basically give you instructions. So helping you out here because she also has proficiency with Thieves Tools, allowing you to have advantage on this roll. Oh, okay. All right. So we're working as a team. Let's do this. Where is it? I just clicked on it. 10. Shit. Uh, advantage? Do you have 18? Eight. Yep. Yeah, 18. I was saying, I was hoping the second roll would be better, but. Okay. Hmm. So you, you put the, the, you put the, the lock pick to it. You can feel the you can feel the insides of the lock, the different mechanisms in there. All right, show me your secrets. There's double a brief pause. Says. Yeah, no double proficient. Oh, expertise? No, do you have a, no? I do not have expertise. Do you? But no, she does. But it does for this lock. It's Thad who's doing it. So maybe Valhana can try out the Oof. next one. But or if if I fail, you can take the next stab. I guess there is yeah, a I brief moment it. where you feel the tools catch, and then a. <laughs> as the lock unhinges. Oh, sweet release. All right, lock's open. I'll I don't, I, I'm not happy with how much satisfaction you got out of that. Why? It's so it's unve oh, we're un unveiling the secrets that are meant not to be seen by mortal eyes. This is exactly what I'm here on this world for. As long as you keep your secrets hidden and then I go to push open the door. <laughs> <laughs> I sit there, I just like move off the side holding the padlock, looking at you confused. Uh, what? She's saying to keep it in your pants. Or I, I put the padlock into my pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to put that in inventory. I have a padlock. All right. Now. So the, the padlock is no longer on the door. There's just that kind of like heavy bar that is crossing it and keeping it locked and in place. I the bar, I guess. Okay. And that's out our... And before we just find Strahd. <laughs> <laughs> well, this took a turn. <laughs> turn around, we're in Barovia. <laughs> oh god, I just like the light, the wardrobe to Barovia. <laughs> okay, you, you pull aside the, you pull aside the, um, the iron handle and like removing it from the the hole in the wall where it was it makes a ton of like <laughs> noises now that, that's free even when we're silent we're not silent we're not very good at this <laughs> we truly are not I... gun, our methods are lacking uh, is it a push door or a pull door <laughs> Uh, you, you push it and it swings open on its hinges. Okay. It seems that the hinges itself are pretty well, uh, well oiled and lubricated. The door swings open uh, and immediately four attacks are launched at you. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Damn, <laughs> man, I'm glad I'm standing to the side. Yeah, <laughs> the serendipitous uh, push to the side with the. Uh... All right, so you Have immediately one. see uh, a scruffy-looking boy uh, raise a hand at you, and out of his out of his hand. Uh, flies a, uh, a nice little bolt of fire at Valhana's face. So, this is just face. straight here. Mm, firebolt. Uh, 23 to hit you. Definitely does. Uh, for 9 oh. fire damage. Oof. Not Valhana. It's, this is, this is, uh, what am I saying Valhana? This is against Korra. I don't know why I said okay, that. Okay, I was yeah. very confused. <laughs> yeah, like, get apologies. that girl behind her. Um, <laughs> Uh, there's a burly individual who, with a cross, with a heavy crossbow hefted onto his shoulder, um, he uh, ha he takes a shot at Cora. Uh, Twelve will miss Cora. Uh, one, one, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Uh, okay. I need the guy that cast the firebolt to make a wisdom saving throw. Yep, sure. Or he explodes. <laughs> uh, fails it. Oh shoot. Uh, he's he's charmed. Okay. <laughs> and explodes. <laughs> All right. Oh, so you've activated the cloak at this point? It's been active since upstairs. Okay, sounds good. Uh, and so, yeah, immediately it fires, it blasts you in your chest for nine fire damage, but immediately he just, like, drops his hands, looks at his palms, and it's just like, what did I do? Oh, no. All right. A, uh, a, cro a heavy crossbow <laughs> bolt flies over Cora's head. Ricochets off the wall. 
Uh, a light crossbow bolt flies at her, uh, misses. Uh, that one was uh, a 14 on that one. And then I, I believe... I would appreciate you guys stop shooting at me, please. And I believe <laughs> this guy, uh, he just goes, Rrr! he just runs forward. All right, uh, roll initiative for me, everybody. Okay. That could have gone a lot worse. Yeah. Cora could be dead right now. Uh huh. All right. I'm good with this. Uh, do I have visions? Yes, I have, again, visions blessing. Oh, everybody's. Oh, everybody's okay, already just rolling. Sorry. I was just like, wow, everybody's in here from last time. No, everybody is. Are we on it like a bonnet? Uh, I clicked my token. Oh, why okay. is it? Why am I not in there? What the fuck? Okay, less with that. Oh baby, it's like uh, fat zero. <laughs> it's cold. There, now I'm in there. Okay, yep. I'll take the twelve though, because that's what I rolled at first. Okay, sounds good. So, uh, fat no. crunk knuckle, <laughs> you are up first. You, uh, oh. you basically see a, a gout of flame kind of just blast across uh, Ulra's cloak, and then ding, 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 two crossbow bolts ricochet out of the room, and then a cry of battle as a uh, as an individual with a sword just like like runs out. Uh, first instinct would be to try to. Ah, it's interesting. Can I squeeze through this door? Blocked as it is. Yeah, double double movement, but you can't move oh, any okay. further past the guy. Uh, I'll, I'll allow you to do a athletic or acrobatics check to either tumble past him or shove past him. Okay, and just for I, since I can't see, and I guess I'll decide. Let me roll first. Okay, I will try to tumble past as a nimble monk. Oh shit! Okay. Damn. All right. Bro, so I'm easy peasy. Whoop! You just slip into the room. Oh, perfect. I was gonna ask whether this was an open spot or behind it. Yeah, this is exactly where I wanted to go. So I gotta like do some weird little corner of the wall, like siddle around it, <laughs> or I'm, like run up, just like kick oh, off yeah. the wall, like fling Flip. yourself through the door, Flip Jackie Chan right. style, over Cora's head, like wah. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it if you stop trying to hit my friend, and I will use bonus action to cast. Like, I'm gonna use a key point to do arms of truth. Oh, actually, I still have movement. So that was what? That's double movement, right? So it's 10 to. Oh. Hmm. Um, I, I would I say move. it's. it's It wasn't double. It was double to move past Cole Run. That was just 10 to move past Cole Run. So I can Cora move at least then, uh, five more, right? Yeah. Okay, seeing this, and this is the quick. The quick Quick tactical choice. I'm taking one more step further into this room, and then I'm going to use the arms of truth right from here as they explode from around my shoulders and overlap my normal arms. Yeah, of course. That guy will take an attack of opportunity against you, however, as you step away from him. Uh As he will uh, two-handed longsword attack against you. A 22 to hit you. (laughs) Yeah. For three slashing damage as he just kind of catches you in your arm. (laughs) Ow. All right. So bonus action is to go ahead and cast that. So it's DC 13 deck save on, I believe it's 10. Wait, let me double check this again. I think it's 10 foot. So it should hit all of them, but just a nice. <laughs> yeah, literally it's, it's the AOE uh, backhand slap. Uh, what type of check? Uh, dex DC 13. Yeah. Uh, here. Arms of the astral self. Yeah. 10 feet. Yep. 10 feet. Yeah. So it's all four of them. We'll have to take the save. Okay, oh, cool. Uh, do you see what? 13? Uh, 13. Yeah. All right, so the, the bandit who's furthest away over there, he's the one who will save. Everybody else fails. Yeah, so it's six force damage as they erupt out. And then okay. I will use my... Wait, no, that was my action. So then I can use my uh, bonus action to take the uh, punch. Yeah. And looking around, and briefly, I don't know if you can tell me looking... <laughs> The, looks like this guy kid. staggers backwards. Yeah, he's like this scruffy-looking little kid uh, who's got goo-goo eyes for Cora. Suddenly blinks once or twice as a astral arm just socks him in his stomach. <laughs> God, oh, no. Oh, no. Was he? Was he part? Of, I just yes. a kid. <laughs> it's like a, it's not like a kid kid. It's like a apprentice wizard kid. Like was he the one who fired the firebolt? I don't know. This he guy. is the one who fired the firebolt. Does he he's, look like he just fired a firebolt? Uh, his hands he are, just took 
He took damage, right? Yeah, his hands are smoking. He did take damage, so he rolls. Uh, yeah, he can... Wisdom save again? Yep. Uh, he fails it. Right, cool. He still looks at you, Korra, like, what's going on? I think actually seeing this, and this is, a, again, like a instinct thing. I'm actually going to take my bonus attack at, at the kid. Okay. But specifically trying to do non-lethal to get him out of the fight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah I know. Play. That's why I stopped. <laughs> Truth punch to the kid. <laughs> oh, God. Alrighty. Oh, I really said fuck them kids. I'm assuming that he hits fast. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you see as he you see as he like he actually tries to throw up as a reaction. He tries to throw up a shield, um, but your oh. your truth punch blasts through the shield and just catches him right in the jaw. And he spins around doing the like like <laughs> slow motion boxer knockout and just goes <laughs> ba -doom, ba -boom, hits the floor unconscious. Uh, pro tip, kid, question everything. And I'll turn around. I'll f uh, face up against this thick looking boy here. All right, cool. Perfect. Dudes, dudes sleep. All right, Cora, there's an angry man in front of you brandishing a sword uh, and some more individuals in that room. Jesus fucking Christ, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really, this is where kid. you draw the line, really. <laughs> <laughs> the kid was like 11. Uh, <laughs> was. <laughs> yeah, was is a fucking word choice. You knock him um, to his next birthday. All right. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, oh god. Uh, By the way, that, that was the biggest force punch I've ever done. I like it. Just it happened to be into the kid. Whatever. Dad, oh. you can see through magical darkness or no? Uh, I believe it is just regular darkness. Just regular it's darkness. Supposed to be coming up on this bar mitzvah, not his first bar fight. Deepest gloom. Uh, you see dim light. It doesn't mention magical. Okay, I won't do that then. Uh, I, I would assume that would be something Colro would know if yeah. people could see through her shit. Oh, also, just to sort of say, we when we were traveling, I pretty much cast us on everybody at some point. So you would all be aware of mm -hmm. my true sight. As I yeah. It's just like, like, hey, look at that over there on the horizon. It's like, I don't see it. It's dark. And you're like, oh, wait, here. Look yeah, the true now image. you can. And then he just yeah. David Blaine steps away. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I imagine like, gets confused why he can't see it now. Yeah, we got dark. Okay, <laughs> like, imagine I... you don't tell anyone. You just like do it. And you're like, oh my god, my eyes. <laughs> All right, you got this soldier-looking right. dude in front of you. He's uh, not looking after taking the the bl even after taking that blast of damage from the the force arms. He's actually staggering a bit. Oh, seriously? All yep. right. Uh, okay, Some I'm just gonna. I want to flavor it as like as I'm drawing my Thank sword. Thank you for that follow. I just that. like clock him in the chin with my pommel. Okay, that hits him. Oh no, that misses. I'm sorry. I, uh, I apologize. He does have some heavier armor on. Uh, that's uh, damage. Okay. Should well. Have a fire. <laughs> all right. Prick. <laughs> Uh, well, I had a plan for my bonus action, but I'd made that no longer a plan. So I'm I guess that. that's it. Okay, you can only one attack right now. It's a short sword, so you could use bonus action to do an offhand attack. You could do a wielding? Yeah, if you wanted to. You, I mean, you can, even if you're not dual wielding, you can do a punch. It just yeah. is going to deal one damage and no modifier. Yeah, no, it's I fine. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's the guy standing in the doorway is still there. Crix, it is your go. Okay. Um... I'm going to like step over and just be like, we don't wish to fight, and then I'm going to... Um... <laughs> yeah. We don't wish to fight, shoots gun. <laughs> oh yeah, I have a gun. I forgot about that. Um, I'm not gonna use it though. Uh... Use as a mace. Mm... I don't know what I want to do. Trying to figure that out, homie. 
Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, cause I don't want to kill them, but all of my range stuff is kill people. Yeah, fuck them cats. <laughs> uh... Advance, like can says. I can I occupy <laughs> the same spot as Cora for a moment? Actually, can I push back my to boat back? Through? Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I wonder. I want to. Can I push through to here? That would be 15 feet. That would be half my movement. Yeah. All right. By okay. by here, you mean there? Yeah. Neither give me yeah. an acrobatics or dexterity <clears throat> check, or acrobatics or or athletics to kind of force uh, your way past the guy. Uh, okay. Fuck. All right, there's a there's a tumble and a tussle, um, but he shoulders you backward, and you're like right there at the door. Well, now I'm in punching range. Um, you're gonna cast at third level, flaming fists. Okay, light it up. Uh, so ba -ba -ba -ba, where the fuck is it? Uh, boop. Uh, nice. Yeah. So. Uh, da, 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 da. so that's gonna be, um, Excuse me. I'm trying to remember how my own spell works. Uh, 2d8. Yeah, so, so bonus action, and then, yeah, it's gonna be, uh, at third level, uh, ideal, let's see, 30, 40 damage. Yeah, so this dude Order is absolutely... Yeah, you punch it, you, there's no, there's no non-lethal here. You punch a hole yeah. through this guy's chest. Yeah. <laughs> and now I would like to step and fill that, that. Yes, now you can just say, why did you block my space as you just stand yes. over his dead body? All right, excellent. All right. Um, the, the bandit in the room uh, looks at looks at Thad. He just kind of like clock this kid and levies a, le he levels his light crossbow at him. Then he just sees his friend like with a flaming fist through his like <laughs> back, like in his chest and out his back. Just get pulled out, and then Crix steps into the room, and he goes, "Oh shit!" And then he'll just take a shot at Crix. Yeah. Pew! A twelve. That'll miss. Okay. Um, Hirokin, uh, at your turn, you start to hear something in the room. Uh, the door behind Valhana, you hear it start to like, you hear the sound of keys behind it. Wait, like. Yep. On the opposite side of the door. Yep. Uh, I will. Go over to the door here. It's here, or is it? Yeah, it is. Or is it up here? All right. Uh, I wrote it. We'll just uh, say that. I uh, occupado. Please don't come in right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I'll ready an attack in case that door gets open. Wait, how right, would they perfect. Open it if there's a padlock on the outside? Yeah, I should have explained that it can be open from both sides. They're not going to lock themselves in here. That's stupid. <laughs> All right, we'll be here till you get back. All righty. <laughs> don't, 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 don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. The padlock down, Thad's pants disappears as it was part of the door itself. Uh, yeah. Damn, I was hoping <laughs> to use that. <laughs> All right. Thad feels a bulge disappear. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so cold in here. He ripped out of his pants. Uh, <laughs> All right, Valhana. Cora's not beat up at all. I mean, she got hit by a fireball or a firebolt and that tickled her. She's fine. Nobody's really hurt right now, is all I'm saying. Except for the guy that beat me. Except for the dude who has a hole in his chest. <laughs> I did not mean to kill no. him. I swear. You did with the call you ma. Like, oh, I didn't mean to. Like, I don't know my own strength. The guy underneath Crix. Crix is Crix is standing on this dude's dead body yeah. with his foot through his chest, basically. Yes. I, I'm not. I'm not that uncouth. <laughs> well, I mean, I know you're gonna burn his body later, so it's okay. Yeah. I'm not disrespectful to the dead, I, except when I eat them. All right, Val. Valhanna's Valhanna is gonna situation. hashtag bless up. Who are you going to bless up? Oh, yeah, it's your... Okay, Cora gets a bless. Of course. Oh. Hyrokin gets a bless. Hell yeah. Hashtag and that. her obsession gets a bless. <laughs> <laughs> and Demavan gets a bless. All right, those Got are the three. 
Yep, the three. The, the furry kitty, the best friend, and the obsession. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> any bonus action that you'd like to do? Your homunculus is not with you right now. I don't think it's active. I don't believe it's active. I think you've disabled it, haven't you? All right, one second. Uh, homunculus comes in. Homunculus there. There it is. No. It's an action to tell it what to do. I believe. Uh, bonus action. No, it's a bonus action to tell it what to do. Yeah. Yeah, I can hold an action. A zap. Alright, demo van. Okay, I will come flying into the room. Uh, this is 25 feet. Watch your step, there's a dead guy. <laughs> there's a dead body there. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'll just step in the hole in his chest. And just find it. And please don't touch another child. I'll step over here, so next to Thad, and I'll give this guy a, a stab in, a stabbo. Okay. Mm -hmm. He must have messed with the crab. Over. That hits. <laughs> Wait, that hits? Yeah. This guy's not wearing Ow. any armor. Oh, cool. Sucks to be you, dude. Uh, his loss. Okay. Yep. Did we just, like, walk into an orgy? Nah, uh, no, no, he's not wearing very heavy armor. Sorry. Uh, he's not okay, naked. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just bully him, then I'll push him to the ground if I can. My Let's see. Let's see you try, up, bud. Nerd. Sha, nah. Bro, he stands shredded. up to it. Nah, he's just oiled up. <laughs> yeah, <he's> your <laughs> shield just slips off his oiled off buddy, his body. You do notice that on the table next to you, Demavand and Thad, there's a uh, there's a set of playing cards. That's like mid hand strip poker. That's also a body, like, uh, bottle of body oil. I was gonna mm. say, yeah, like lavender scented body oil. <laughs> All right, uh, one more stabbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for another nine. Oh yeah, he's looking really hurt. And this will be a pushing attack. Okay, uh, you push him. Let's see if he will resist it. I believe it's the, it's just the same thing, anyways. Uh, strength, right? Yeah. Yeah, strength too. Uh, he fails it. You push him back into the wall. Doof, he hits it with a thud, nearly collapsing. He is very hurt. Mm -hmm. um, nice all right, he stands back up and approaches you. Uh, oh. He is going to... He throws the crossbow down and takes two swings at your face. Swing one, 14. Swing two, crit oh, for no. 10 damage as he clocks you in your jaw. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, Kalis. Jailers! Are you muted, buddy? No. He's just running around. Uh oh. I see typing. Mm hmm. Dun dun dun. I'm so. I'm so blind and deaf, I can't see shit. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm going to whip around the corner and I. Oh god. This is terrible. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I, I don't know who's the baddies, so screw you all. And I'm just going to cast sleep in the far corner in there, and I am guess uh, I'm sending out a whopping 41 points Holy of shit. elite Peronis. All right, they immediately zonk out. Boom. And boom. Unconscious. Oh. Nice. God, you punched a kid. <laughs> okay. At the end of Kalos' turn, Kalos, you step in here. There's another door here. This one is just another normal iron door. No locking mechanism on it whatsoever. Uh, this room, as you look around... Right there? Yeah, right there. Oh, screw that. I, I don't want to be near the door. <laughs> as you look around this room, you can see that there are weapon. There's uh, weapons on racks, all just kind of like normal-looking weapons, however. And a bunch of just boxes marked like with miscellaneous labels, etc. But at this point, Thad, uh, you do hear... Uh, the door in the other room opens up, and there is a bandit behind that door. Hiroken, your held attack. <laughs> oh, it's coming, buddy. He just also, looks at, uh, it just is surprised. Yes, and the and the uh, homunculus as well. Okay, yeah, that nails him. <laughs> but <Butt -nated. laughs> uh, for eight damage, then she just staggers backwards as he takes a, a pickaxe. You get your second attack as well. Oh, sweet. No. Uh, that hits. Yeah, he goes unconscious if you want to do this non-lethal. Up to you. He did kind of, this was just kind of like a, you don't know what's coming from behind the door, but. 
cat. It's like the surprise cat who gets attacked. Yeah, like, and the homunculus cat. shoots as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, it hits. Wow. That guy's gonna get wrecked. <laughs> yeah, that looks fun. Okay. Imagine he just gets like knocked out, and the force kind of hits him, and he just gets flies in those boxes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He is uh, unconscious. Down. Uh, and now some more friends join the fray. Uh, give me a moment. Please no. Yes. Okay. All right, Thad, your turn. All right, well, uh, these sleepy nerds here don't seem to be a big risk anymore. Yeah, they're snoozing for the foreseeable future. I'll... Uh, yeah, How long yeah, is... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll show a spell description. Sleep lasts like for a minute, right? a minute, yeah. Well, I don't know that as Thad. I just see him going conscious. So I will just assume in character that they were knocked out by some spell. I mean, I'll tell what you happened. what. I'll tell you what, the, the thug, I'll tell you what, Bobby, uh, the ah, thug right. who uh, Demavan knocked back against the wall, as soon as he sleeps, he hits the floor and he hits his head on the, <laughs> on like one of the boxes and he just goes like truly unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> what, was he like really close to dead? <laughs> oh yeah, one HP, dude. Like, he's, there's no, like, whatever. <laughs> I, like I feel like we have like a really, like we're really good at putting people to exactly like one HP. It's Way too often. Points. Yeah, I do hear those. I heard some kerfuffles back up this way, right? Yeah, uh, all right. All right, so I'm gonna run back. Uh, I'm gonna try to vault over Crix. Uh, and Cora. Around, yeah, you can Cora. push through. It's just double movement. Okay. And as I run past her, it's like, all right, kid's fine. He's not cold. That's not. <laughs> like, That's not fine. Uh, I, think I can do. It depends if it's 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 double movement to move through yeah. hierarchy, right? Yeah. So, hmm. Wait, let me see. Five, ten, 15, twenty, twenty-five. No, I have monk speed. I can do it. Um, because that's forty movement, right? Yep. Yeah, I just have enough to get right there, which unfortunately I'm not. Oh, unless this is equivalent to this, right? Hmm. Yeah, you can slide through so, there. That's fine. Diagonal. Okay. I, I'll just and then it's like as the end tail him around like Ugh. I'll reach out and try to hit him with my stick. Okay. Uh stick swing number one. Did 25. Tell you to keep it in your pants. Yep, swing and hit. Yeah, but this is the big thick stick. Okay. Uh second swing, because I learned how to do that. Oh, that's All another right. hit. Nice. Perfectly Doing work. Symmetric violence. Or perfectly symmetric violence. And then I'm going to Hmm. Does he seem to be a, t a tough lad, or is he? Oh, he's pretty older? thick. He's a pretty thick boy. He took a lot of damage from uh, from Demavan to kind of get him down. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and spend a key point. I'm gonna do flurry of blows. We'll hit him a couple more times. Okay. And I still have truth punch active, so it's a ten, which probably misses. That does miss, unfortunately. Okay. Twenty four. That will hit. For eight force damage. Very nice. Okay. Up, 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 up and bonus action. No, it wasn't bonus action. Never mind. That's it. So I'm there. Okay, cool. Alrighty, Cora. Okay. Uh, seeing everything in here neutralize and just praying that Evan Van doesn't do like a side, like a down stab as he leaves the room to the kid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Eliminate all evidence. <laughs> I'm going to face step. Okay, zoop, boom. Take me with you. Up here enough. Oof. I can mean, take that's a that's a great question. It doesn't say I, I can't. Yeah, usually can't. those are usually those are you can take somebody with you. Mm. Um, I think dimension door is, but I would say no. <laughs> it's, this is this well. is different. This is a class thing, so it's different. So no. I think they usually. If I could, I would. Yep. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, what do I have a better chance with here? Just hit him in the face. Yeah, but <laughs> I keep missing my my sword. Ah, this one I I believe in you. I think you can hit your with your sword. All right, with the DM faith. You hit. Woo! Woo. And is this non-lethal? 
Uh, yeah. Pommel Smack him. him with the, the flat of the blade. Uh, which one are you attacking? This guy's unconscious. Oh, oh, is he? Yeah, it's fine. He could step around the corner and swing at the other dude. Should have marked him as unconscious. Uh, uh, he's unconscious. Don't worry. Thing. Bonk. He's there. You're, you got him, Cora. Don't worry. Well, I'm thinking movement. Oh, no, no. Don't worry about it. You could, like, I okay. don't care if they're, they're just adjacent squares. That's not, not, right. okay. not a big deal. Okay. And yes. Alrighty, excellent. Uh, that bandit is unconscious. Crix, you're in the other room. Uh, you do see further doors in there, uh, or the the direction that everybody else is going. Can I stand there? I can't tell. No. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm gonna go to here then. Alrighty. And unfortunately, I can't um, punch anybody. No, unfortunately not. So instead, I am going to. How weak does this? Oh wait, that guy's unconscious, so it's just the goblin. The goblin-looking dude. Uh, you look over, and this is the first time you recognize him, or not recognize him, but kind of just like get a good look at him. Uh, he is currently carrying a flamethrower. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we're and we're stacked. I <laughs> I see that you are uh, like me, and I'm gonna Ooh. cast. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. Is, is it, does it have like a tank? Oh, the say. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Yes, it does. Be careful about your words. Oh no, we're about to get World War II up in this bitch. Okay, I would like to attack him. I will specifically attack the tank with a third level Scorching Ray. With a third level Scorching Ray? Yep. Okay, this dude. This dude's like. This this dude is literally like a like fucking. Uh, Spokane crackhead with a fucking with a fucking <laughs> flame door. You're gonna, you're literally about to just obliterate this goblin. But okay, go for it. Okay. He looks uh, frail yeah. as shit. He's not. He's barely wearing any armor either. Okay, so he has a breastplate sure, we'll, on. For, <laughs> first, okay, we'll do second level. We won't overdo this. First That's one is gonna target the tank. Uh, you don't need to target the tank. Don't worry. Okay. So it's not, there's, a, there's a mechanic with it. You don't need to target the tank. Okay, the the first one misses. The second one will hit, and the third one will miss. Unfortunately. Okay, six fire damage. Okay. Uh, jeez. Um, I'm gonna roll something for him. Because specifically, that was uh, a lovely. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a nice amount of fire damage. Um. Uh-oh. Okay. Cool. Uh, Hiroken. Oh, wait, bonus action. Oh, okay, go, go, go ahead. Uh, bonus action. Ah, oh, fuck. Um. No, that's an action. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. Okay, Hiroken. I'm fucking go ahead. a druid. I should know this by now. <laughs> I have no fun. Well, until you do concentration spells and just n- fucking nuke shit. Take it all the way over here. Hell yeah. I don't think the amount of crits that I've gotten with third level fucking yeah. fists is really count counts as a normal thing. Swinging in at the dude? I would yeah. Okay. Yeah, that hits him. Oh, this is all reckless, by the way. Okay, that hits him. Okay. Uh eleven and four. On the first hit, you knock him backwards into the thing and you hear Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, so let me just do. Uh, everybody in there uh, in a ten foot radius sphere. So that is uh, actually right now. That's Everyone's just got cricks. yeah. That's just Tyrokin and uh, and Thad. Yeah. Uh, just give me a twelve DC twelve deck save. Oh no, yeah, Colra as well. Yeah. All right, because the ground is gonna get fucking baked, but uh, yeah, he's dead. Uh, it's Toast. My uh, danger sense. It will, yeah. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> your danger sense is tingling <laughs> massively right here, just because, uh, yeah, you literally—it's that slow mo moment where there's just like the, like he falls on the ground, 
and, and like your pickaxe accidentally punctures the gas tank on his back and then you just watch as his like ignited flame of the flamethrower just like slowly rolls back to like the puncture <laughs> like oh no all well, right God, uh, huh? yeah, good thing for danger sense my man yeah perfect danger sense moment you fucking cat dive behind these boxes or something uh okay so why do we even have that lever all right, so uh, you only take three damage, uh, Hyroken, as it just singes your tail a little bit. Uh, and everybody else also only takes three damage, because you're all safe. Hell yeah. <laughs> I actually would almost want to say that, like, like Hyroken just jumps on it and just heroically, like, grenades that, like, covers the grenade type of thing. I was just that Hyroken probably jumps into a box. Or, literally just... Yeah, it's it unrelated. <laughs> or just like Danger Sense, uh, you literally see it about to happen, you just kick it out of the way. Like, you kick it further away. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Some... That would be a good one. <laughs> he just gets distracted by the crate next to the goblin, smacks it, and it flips over onto him. Yeah, poof, just gets <laughs> caught on top of it. All right, so that guy is uh, burning and ignited. As, uh, as that explosion <laughs> goes off, you hear, um, I would say Demavan, you hear this, and Kalos, you hear this. Uh, Hyroken, oh, maybe, no. but, uh, through the, kind of a muffled sound, through the doors, you hear somebody speak up. I would lay down your arms, otherwise the little kobold gets it. Mm. What the fuck's a kobold? I... <laughs> That's where we'll end for the night. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> what the fuck's a kobold? Oh, damn. So where was this coming from? Oh, oh but I didn't hear it. I, think it's uh, I mean, here. it's basically through the doors that you guys didn't enter yet. Ah, okay. So There's that's... another set of doors. There's another set of doors here. Oh, okay. <laughs> right for that. Oh, are... oh, there's a room over there. Yeah, mm -hmm. right there. And then uh, another set of doors behind there. Oh, okay, so... so something down this way. Gotcha. Yep, yep, yep. All right, good oh, stuff. Oh, boy. Yeah. Saving private, saving private Nif continues on. Part two next time. Why do I keep punching holes in people? Yeah. I don't know. It just, it just seems that your 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 hole punch API is working really well. <laughs> Why does everything I touch die? <laughs> die. Oh, no. Dinkelberg. Oh, we need to get. Dude, I can't if... even see the freaking door. What? I'm I'm an old blind man. Oh yeah, Very you are blind as fuck. Eh, let me hold up. That room should have some more lights. That's way too dark in that fucking room. What the hell? They, they, the are, they are doing some weird stuff in here. It's so dark. There you go. There, have a have another light, my friend. Oh god, I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bright. No, it's too bright. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, thanks everybody. That was a good <laughs> session back in. Um, I, yeah, I gotta, remember, I, I gotta remember exactly where to leave off so I know what this, how to start next session. Yeah, I mean, oh, obviously, year. obviously, okay. I would say there's like, well, let's have a, let's have a. You obviously know that something's happening in the other room, and I'll give yeah. everybody just like the little vignette to end it on. Uh, you see a swarmy-looking tiefling in uh, like what looks to be the same city guard armor uh, as the uh, as the one that is upstairs, but a little bit more decorated. Uh, and tied to a chair, oh, yeah. unconscious, is Nif, the kobold bard. So this is probably um, captain. the captain. Yeah. And behind him in that room sits a very fami familiar looking cauldron. Oh, hey. oh ah, this yeah. is where, okay. Oh, it's so all coming together <laughs> now. Yeah, he found the pot. He confiscated the pot <laughs> and brought it back here. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you so you you can you the, the the players have all heard the the warning of like lay down your weapons or or the kobold gets it. Uh, the camera sees that the kobold Nif is actually looking. He's looking kind of like bruised and and beat up, and he's unconscious. So that's where we'll pick up next time. <laughs> yeah, so all right. Tomorrow is rooms, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, dude. We gotta figure out what to do with this, with that, uh, with the unconscious grandpa slash dad slash mm -hmm. family member of the, of the person that we didn't like, but now we might like. I don't know. It's so confusing. Oh, I, yeah, I totally forgot where we left off there. I have to go look at we're that. We're in their warehouse. We're in her warehouse, and we're like, we like yeah. went and explored, and Dieter was like, there's an unconscious body up here, and we're like, that's neat, and then 
the the person arrived and we're like, hey, what's with the body? And she's like, that's my dad. And oh, we're like, didn't, awkward. She didn't arrive. She woke up from being not alive. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, while well, we just ransacked her lab, or basically, like, just sniffed her lab. We didn't ransack anything, really. We were just, like, yeah. inspecting everything. And then we're just like, ugh. All right, good stuff. Take it easy, everybody. I'm going to end the stream, and then I'm going to be jumping on that Final Fantasy grind. I think I've been doing the same. Maybe need some defects, but I'll be around. <laughs> uh, we were talking about doing co uh, coils, finishing that up, right? Oh, yeah, if we're all on. and if people are awake. Time. We only have two more fights. I'd be down if we're all around. Boogs, you, 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 you conscious enough? Yeah. Let's it do it. All right, I'm going to end the stream, and we're going to do that. All right. Wow. BRB. Alrighty, thank you everybody for hanging out tonight. That was the uh, that was the stream. That is what it is, and uh, the the party will pick up next time with the rescuing of Nif the Kobold. Poor little Nif, he got in over his head, and there's a big jerk who's beating him up. No, the party's got to save him, but they got to be smart about it, or else bad things might happen. Oh no. Uh, we'll pick up on it next time though. Uh, thank you. I'm Scott's Nugget tonight. We had. Uh, Valhana in the background playing, sorry, uh, Derpy in the background playing Valhana, Fletcher Cricks played by Mr. Gastroy, Fat Crunk Knuckle played by Mr. Chuckles, Colra played by Neon, Heroken played by Porkins, Kalis played by No Fun Allowed, aka CW3, and Demovan played by Mr. Lunacy, aka Wabugasi. We'll catch everybody next time. Thank you so much. Everyone. Goodbye. Bye.